The Comedy Store would like you to know that the views and opinions expressed in this podcast are strictly those of the speakers or authors and do not necessarily reflect or represent the views and opinions held by the Comedy Store and its affiliates. Is this uh, good? How's that feel? It feels super awkward. You look awkward. Dude, I gotta it be looks honest. good. This feels like a deposition. <laughs> I've been in depositions before. Yeah. How many and depositions? This, have I've only been, been in a handful of depositions. Guys, we're we're live right now. This is Fuck being yeah, broadcast out to the world. We're talking depositions here. God That's damn right. It. Comedy store podcast. We go now. Live. I feel too. Si- okay, guys. What do you guys want to talk? about? Welcome to the boardroom. Yeah. Welcome to the comedy oh, store podcast. Back. Let's Hi, just. Tony. Uh, can I tell the audience that Tony couldn't get the tv to turn yeah, on listen well, it's important th- people know this tv is usually on the tv you cannot see from Which either one of those hysterical. camera angles but we, we got, can see it right we can see it it's very important and I, a couple weeks ago we had earl skate on and you guys were doing randy savage and you were talking about a video and we pulled it up and we were oh. looking at the video but the people couldn't they can't see, see the it. video so it just looked like that's us that's cool staring off in um, the face so we're not gonna fucking why don't they get a third camera i'm trying to find a I'm Bro, listen. You. How's that, Tony? Is that cool? Why Bro? don't you get the Does fuck out of here good? with that third camera talk? All right, this is a two camera <laughs> shoot. <laughs> I can't believe this. They've done so many things to this room, and it's still a shithole. Yeah. <laughs> they really have. I, look at this. Now it's like, what the fuck How is going on here? How dare you shit on this? This is a quality Wayfair, Mayfair, whatever that place is. This hey, came d- with a small child. This desk. That's these exactly uh, right. these are, is this made out of asbestos? A yes. lot of people were complaining about the echo. When we used really? to do podcasts in here. So now so Juan we, Carlos came we up tampered with the that asbestos. down. He painted he the it. asbestos. He's like, it fell off of a truck. <laughs> it has hazmat is, on it. The problem is the asbestos. They bought it. yellow, so I painted. They bought it. It was a <laughs> solid blocks, and, and just, just to put them to work, they made them actually carve out the lines on all these boards. So. <laughs> he whittled it out? Yeah. He, he, <laughs> We They're gave like, him a pumpkin sh- uh, <laughs> carver and just told him to make them all look exactly the same. I think he did a great job. I thought Way he to go, one Juan those, Carlos. Uh, like one of those machetes that you see the guys cracking coconuts yep. with <laughs> on the side <laughs> of the highway. That's the exact one. Him and uh, Lahai were out there doing Dude, that. Dude, is the Bushman still alive? The Bushman. He's got to be alive. Thru- Kurt Thrutchley dead. Yeah, Bushman, Bushman alive. That Bushman outlives a young guy. Uh, Johnny Thrutchley, Zapp, too. Did he uh, die from COVID? Uh, no, he. I think he died long before COVID. It, he, <laughs> Was it? I don't he mean died. To laugh. We he died Kurt. a couple months. We into, love Kurt. He in, took a piss in the main room. Yeah, he did pee floor. in the main room, <laughs> and then told Dean that we can do whatever we want here. <laughs> he did. And Dean was like, "You don't even do comedy, bro." bro you but he felt me. ownership. There were so few people here that a guy who literally just hung out with someone didn't do comedy. <laughs> didn't do comedy. <laughs> didn't and, do anything. Took the worst camera wasn't shot. Wasn't he in? Uh, th- didn't he work for TMZ? Uh, no, no, that was that was the, the other one. Oh, yeah, that's man. Jeremiah. That was Captain Fulgore. <laughs> that's right. Do you remember Wait, him? I'm, I'm sorry. What? Uh, the guy that works guys, for TMZ. Guys, this is Ryan O'Neill. Oh, hey guys, which camera? It's, I wouldn't doubt if that's yeah, the yeah. camera that's. Just filming put your me. thumb in front of it, <laughs> so they know. They're like, guys, what we're gonna do is put a mirror in front of this one, and it's gonna. This one it. is in between Rick and I. We we're do not a lot of lasers. We do a lot of lasers. We only do close-ups. Yeah. Tony, is this recording? Probably. I could see him be like, it's not recording, but I got to be honest with you guys. It sounds better when All it's not recording. All the red buttons yeah. are on. I mean, it should be fine. Uh, <laughs> so why did you guys come back after all these years? We interview you, fuck nut. You don't interview us. I'm just us. curious. I cannot find What do you mean after I'm going to be all- <laughs> constantly moving to different <laughs> positions, trying them out for a while, and if they don't work out, I'm going to move so again. Ryan, we s- came back because there was such a high demand, and we, okay. said, That's true. we said we've done 200-plus episodes. We've made $34 <laughs> combined, and, we and it's time to, to get back, back it, you remember, at it, you know? Do you remember when you and Danish got us uh, fired from our sponsorship for that hymns? we were making $34 oh, That's because we were for hymns. Yeah, you were for him, we were trying to get you, sh- you guys out of the racket. Yeah, because you, you knew if it. they were offering us that kind of money, it might not be going your way. <laughs> exactly, they may you're low for, ball us. You're still a for him's man. <laughs> I always will in your be. heart. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that they said the demand. They're like, whenever we post anything, we always get a request for the Comedy Store podcast to come back. So great. But the one thing, whenever they post anything, nobody ever writes a comment. Yeah. That's... There's never, there's like two comments ever. We yeah. don't like comments. We ask So I'm not saying, to... how many people, and I'm not shitting on you guys. Oh, you definitely I'm are. I'm shitting on their Twitter or their Instagram. I just want to know how many people exactly requested when for this to come back. When you say their, who are you talking about? The Comedy I'm Store? I'm talking about they. The world the famous? Comedy. The royal A non-gendered they. Comedy yes. Store? The non-binary. I, I think they knew. They said, hey, 
Ingram's about ready to go. Michael Douglas falling down Dude, any day. One of my favorite movies. How do we? Dream. Yeah. How do we get him to do more work for nothing? <laughs> okay. We we paid him twenty five dollars a shift we for need- nine hour shifts for two years. How can we make it worse? Yeah. Let's right. get him in the studio for free again. That's great. And he's been in nonstop content. By the way. Yeah, you now you have another podcast. You signed your life away to Comedy Store That's Records. Exactly right. Right. They own you. What's the term in perpetuity? In That's perpetuity. right. Perpetuity. I'm currently, right. you know, I'm I'm going back and forth. I got big offers to make uh, comedy specials from both Comedy Store and Mike Binder. That's so both amazing. of those. Oh, hey, that, hey, you pit each other it. against pit each, each other. Yeah, other against them. Uh, the fun part is going to be either way. I'm going to have to film it here, so they're going to have to fight it out and then accept one another. Okay, and then try to join forces. I'm interested to know because you know record business is it's like the Booming. newspaper biz- business is yeah. never going away. Yeah. Big time. Where so where are they going to put your comedy album out? Will be we're in like a display case. Here. No, we're going to play it here. Listen, in play on a loop. <laughs> <laughs> we're actually just going to play it in the background while we do these podcasts. You know what? In between <laughs> comics, they're just going to play Rick's album. Yep. Oh, I heard they have a deal with Vaughn's. Yes. So they'll play it at the grocery store. I was hoping CVS. I was in CVS the other day. They were they were playing Dishwalla. They followed it up <laughs> yes! with, with uh They followed up with a little counting crows. Uh put up parking lot. Yep. Car, yep. Wait, always. What is it? Uh what? Tracy Chapman fast car. <laughs> yeah. That's so it. they're gonna they're just gonna put in one of my tracks. Mixed in with the rest not. of those. Might as well. Marcy Playground. Oh, yeah, yeah. Straight into Fuck Canadians yes. by Rick Ingram. Right. Dude, I, or, hey, where if are... I heard that, I would love it. I'd be like, Would you is... really? Oh, my God. Can you imagine if you heard just Rick going in here <laughs> about shitting on <laughs> hillbillies? Yeah. Because he'd be like, these retards. Yeah. And you're like, oh, yeah, I'll come back shop here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, this, this is Walgreens? This is the only place <laughs> I'm going to get my medication from now on. Comedy Store has signed exclusive rights. All comedians... Albums will be played at CVS from now on. Uh, if they offered you an album, would you do it? No, I'll just do it myself. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, why would I? I mean, it's all this... digital. If I'm going to have a record, I right. just need to know, are they actually doing records? Or is this going to be like a it's, iTunes situation? It's going to be an iTunes thing, from okay. what I can tell. Okay. I, why they call it a record, I don't that. know. You know but it's going to be online. The... Why are you... We're not that say far records. behind. You, you're saying it like Mitzi's coming part, back. Part of my belief for why I said, yeah, I'm going to sign that is because this is the only club that allows me to perform here. So I'm with you on that. This so it's, the only club when people that are like, me. you can record it anywhere. I'm like, I literally can't. Yeah. Uh, they won't let me perform anywhere else in the country. They have a, I feel uh, your pain on that. They have a record player upstairs that's actually Mitzi's arm, and her yep. long yellow nails are the needle. <laughs> so, like, it spins. You know what? Oh, I won't this participate in this Mitzi back. Mitz, come Mitzi on, was a beautiful us. woman who always treated me right. I love when you hear that when people are like, you never met Mitzi. What never. are you talking never. about? Not I have one. people who got here, like, five years after she died. I don't and even know. Like, when did she die? Five years? Years Two years ago, okay, three well, years ago. That's People, I was lot. like, oh, that's very she was disrespectful great. of all of you, but I like what's happening. I was mad that no one asked me to speak at Mitzi's memorial so I could go up there and be like, look, when I knew her, she was like a midget Corella DeVille. Everyone was terrified of her. <laughs> She was pretty mean to most people. Yeah, I was and busy getting Ari to call her a yeah. cunt at yeah. her memorial. Ari has a weird loyalty to her, like really. Oh, uh, certainly. Like, but he drove well, her crazy. It, it's as if she tortured him enough with like traditional yes Al Qaeda torture. <laughs> it's where he, he feels a certain. He's like, well, well she, she basically owns me. You're like, uh, she, yeah. She did warp his mind because here's a guy who doesn't give a fuck about anything. Yeah, he will okay. shit on everybody and anything, but he still has like this real soft spot. A lot of people do. I never understood it. Yeah, it, I didn't get it at all because you weren't friends with her. Why don't you just admit that? that I you talked to her almost every her. day on the phone. I was she scared to were? take a piss. I would have to leave the door open. People would walk in, see me urinating, see my penis, uh, because I had to hear that. Did she think ring. you were Tatum also? He O'Neal's never, father. he never wore pants, oh, so that I was another thing. I, I came in there, well, just in case. Uh, get your dick out in case Mitzi calls. <laughs> get it out! I'm gonna suck it. Um, wait, wait, the, wait! Somebody taking their dick out? Whoa, oh, whoa! I'll hey, milk there's it right a lot now. of lisping and milking <laughs> going on. I think it ruined. I think it ruined Steve and I's friendship. Are you serious? It really got to him. <laughs> Sometimes he'd text me and be like, I heard you on the podcast. 
Does I he don't. have a lisp? I've never. That's even... the thing. He doesn't even have. A lisp. <laughs> he really doesn't. That's and why I was so did. confused it, when Danish was doing it. I'm like, who is he doing uh, an impression of? And then I figured so it good. out from what he said. And I'm like, I, I guess I never noticed. But now I'm glad I'm getting verification that. But yeah. Apparently he, he did, and he worked on it really hard. So maybe that's where it's the going. The naked back eye, to. Okay. like unless you know know that you don't hear it. Everybody hate John Little's like guys sound like a fucking <laughs> retard hillbilly <laughs> idiot man. What are you? And he's like because we're always like I don't, I don't sound like that O'Neill. <laughs> it's like Francisco Ramos not li- Ramos Dude, not liking Rick. Jeff uh, Jeff Richards. Richards. That is such a not because the impression it's funny, but it does but not it's... sound like me. <laughs> You know, this is why I hate coming here. Because you know what? Why? I always regret why? these podcasts. Why? Because I end up saying all kinds of terrible things. That yeah. Is that terrible? Yeah. We love it's Francisco. So. If we didn't like you, then, we wouldn't okay. talk about you. You know, though, I have never done a podcast that I haven't regretted afterwards. So really? it doesn't. <laughs> I added up all the podcasts I've done. If you l- listen to. Do you think you've gotten more sensitive? Is that what happened? Nah, that- I don't know. I just start. Re- I say bad stuff all the time. Me that too. That I don't mean. And you're like, I just. I you're d- just having fun. We're yeah, just sometimes lying. it's not fun though. <laughs> it's <laughs> just like really. Listen, like, I I basically stopped. No, I, I don't know why I was gonna say I stopped doing people's podcasts. No, literally, nobody ever asks me to do their <laughs> podcast. But hey, <laughs> get on Comedy Store Records podcast. <laughs> well, I have uh, the Comedy Store podcast studios. I'm pretty sure I am behind eighty percent of the content that's being produced out of this. <laughs> well, I'm glad we got rid of some of the content that yeah. was being but well, you got you get uh, listen you've never you seen anyone out. you've never seen anyone care more about the comedy store's well being than me during COVID <laughs> watching them post bullshit from bullshit comics. <laughs> I'm sending I'm shooting off text messages to people who probably hadn't been in the building in like nine months. So I'm like someone's gotta do something about this. Get in there. Somebody was, it's like was nom, nobody it was in it there. Was Sam. It was that Sam guy who uh he was still doing it know. until and like a month even... ago. I didn't know him that well. He wait, I'm, he's he's not here. Anymore? He's not here anymore. Oh. He I, I have a real problem. I don't know any of these people. He, right, that's there was wait staff that I don't know their names. And I don't know I, any of the wait staff names. Now we got a whole new yeah because a lot of people left. See, I didn't even know that. Yeah. I didn't a lot even of, notice. A lot of but them weren't vaccinated because that's the kind of trash that the comedy store hired. <laughs> Did you get vaccinated? He I asked yeah. to to be oh, here. I was oh, one of the. Right. You were one I was of the one first. of the youngest men in the country to get vaccinated. Oh hey wheels. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I, uh, I, I love people didn't realize this. I actually uh, <laughs> took my mom. I invented. I was Moderna, so uh, yeah, 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 I've vaccinated probably uh, 3.4 million people myself. <laughs> <laughs> wow wheels. Wow. Oh, yeah, 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 what? I, I, I had my own uh, At pharmaceutical Astral World? company. Where did uh, you do this? No, I uh, I invented uh, <laughs> uh, vaccines actually. A lot of people didn't. <laughs> I was the first guy to get polio, polio and beat yeah. it, and they used, uh, yeah, they used my I was, uh, I was the only guy who got fatter when I got polio. <laughs> so that's... It cripples some people. It just uh, maybe gain weight. <laughs> anyway, don't eat the that's last meatball. That's crippling, isn't it? Yeah. Don't, 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 don't eat the retain it. water. Do not eat the last meatball. That's the one thing I'm saying. Dude, d- the black... <laughs> it's unbelievable. This is why. Listen, I added up all the podcasts I've done. If you listen to me 24 hours a day... Do you know how many days? How many could days could? How many days could I just go nonstop, O'Neill? Forty-one I'm days. Try it. I could do forty-one 41 days. Forty-one days. Now, can you imagine? He's a numbers all guy. The yeah. Bullshit that I. I know this is all this shit. I'm eventually gonna get something legit, and they're just gonna go fuck. You're yeah. Oh, Corinne, oh my god. Corinne has asked we... me so many times. Like, do you guys know where you said really horrible things so that if one of you were ever on a TV, I go, well, no. We're yeah, fucked. No. I'm just yeah. gonna not apologize, and I'm gonna tell yeah, people. You yeah. just go, hey, look, it's called the Comedy Store Podcast. It's about we comedy. Have a disclaimer. If you take shit seriously, <laughs> that's dude, you on hold you. up. I've got a fucking record deal. Uh, you th- You're not taking that away. From I me. signed that thing in 2021. <laughs> At Mitzi's the latter part of 2021, <laughs> when the when the best record deals were signed. <laughs> dude, it just made me. And by the way, I I hope that like, I, but I but I dream bigger for you. I had people. <laughs> I, I feel I, I feel like I just shit on this place. I feel yeah. like you're shitting on this place and us. Uh, I had uh, directly, that's not, true. not even indirectly. I, I it's like a recorded my living room. Hit. I had people send me messages like, "Yeah, I write for such and such website. We're talking about the the rise, uh, the rebirth of the comedy album, the comedy record, and uh, I, I wanted to, you know, talk to you about Comedy Store Records." And I'm sitting there like, I don't even know what I'd say because 
I told him I'd do it, and I signed a contract, and I still have no Dude, idea what the should, plan is. You should drag that out for like an hour and a half in an interview. Oh, yeah. And then they d- came in to the room, and <laughs> they were holding a piece of paper. I'm like, what is this? I was like, should I there read were, it? There were yeah. seven different comedy record it. companies vying for my my signature. And I, you know what? I ended up deciding I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a hometown yeah. Hero and just signed with Comedy You're Store staying Records. Here. And now you have You're people staying in bidding, Ohio. <laughs> bidding to get your to do your special. Is yep. is Jeff Garland gonna throw his hat back? Ah, in the- let me do it! <laughs> I'll record the whole thing! Just come to my pool! What, what, skank! What, who, who wants to be associated with that? He got mad. Rick told what? him that I wasn't here because Garland did the podcast and he said, Eleanor's not here, she's at Skank Fest. He, he just went heard off. Heard the word skank. Skank! Went off like a boomer that like, what? freaked out it, about he the ate, word. It, he, he went off about how he would never be word. associated with anything that has oh skank in it. That if he saw a theater and it said skank, he would walk on the other side. And yeah. And so then, <laughs> what? Th- then uh, who's, who's, Lewis and Big J and them. The, they the, put it on. They recently, on one of their podcasts, they just watched on it on the legion of skanks yeah their podcast they just watched it and <laughs> criticized it after and then they're like so, so funny and it seems like something might be up and uh lewis is like oh just wait because then it goes straight <laughs> from him talking about how he'd never do anything associated with skank to then being like so hr over at sony <laughs> 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 they said that i said pussy i would never say that <laughs> maybe i was doing an impression of someone who says pussy what is he? So he's claiming he's never done anything dirty, dude. At one well, point, he even said, on Curb, he says crazy shit. Exactly. What about titty fucking? Yeah, he said he. he T- yeah, he accused <laughs> fucking Pid. Pid, no, accused, Pid him. accused him, and he may have stolen his titty fucking. Yeah, bit. I'm gonna go with Garland. Didn't know who Pid he was claims, for a thousand. He cla- <laughs> I don't. I don't like saying the word tit. And all I'm picturing is just like four years of Jimmy Pid being like. Garland did the titty fucking bit again. <laughs> I, I can't do it now. That's mine. I can't do it because on Wednesday, Garland did the titty fucking bit. By the That's way, so in crazy. terms of greatest podcasts ever ever done by me, uh, was when I was on the PidCast. Oh, uh, the in short, Buffalo? That makes perfect in Buffalo, sense. And uh, he recorded it. It was me and Ren is easy. And then Steve's like, uh, Pid, what, what do you release this on? He's like, oh, I don't release them. <laughs> and we were like, what? <laughs> I, I hoard them, man. <laughs> He goes, no, these oh no! Are, uh, these I'm are saving NFTs, these, bro. <laughs> NFTs? Oh, I'm shit. saving these. Wait, I we came all the way over here. <laughs> Your friend picked us up in that car that was covered in dog hair, dude. His buddy that picked us up. I've never seen. I think his seats were made strictly of dog hair. It was yeah. It like he shaved off. a lassie and just tossed the the clippings. <laughs> I'm in not there. even allergic to dogs. I was sneezing for like two oh weeks my afterwards. God. I've never seen a more disgusting. Human be- and they Pib kept going. You look out that window, you can see Niagara Falls. Yeah, <laughs> that's what he kept saying from his apartment while we were doing did, the Pidcast. Didn't you guys do the Pidcast as yeah. well? That's we amazing. did the Pidcast, and, and we it did, didn't get released. Um, he said that he released it in Chicago. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Like Chicago. It's it's like, the Chicago. only internet in Chicago. He did tell. He did tell us in- he was gonna put him on mixtapes on cassettes. So you could like order the pid cast. Oh! <laughs> I did. And he would send you cassettes of hey, each man. episode. What are you gonna get deal that? with? This yeah. is the legendary uh Renaissance with, uh, Ingram episode. Comedy store cassette <laughs> tape. Uh, now, so we're just gonna release that. No, we did that show. Yeah. Uh he did yeah, he used to run a room in the basement of like some hotel. I, yeah, I remember oh, that as well. Yeah. And I, I was high out of my mind. I remember watching the clip of of uh you really giving the business to yeah, Jimmy to Pid. Yeah. And, his pit. and then I went to lean on a pillar that it wasn't, wasn't there. there yeah, fell over. yeah, it was glorious. <laughs> it was high. But yeah, high no. on what? What do you get high on? You I get don't. High I high? I don't get high really much anymore. No, no, no. But was it weed or? It was weed. He was hanging yeah. out with Jimmy Pitt and Ren is easy. Yeah, of course, got, he was smoking weed. Yeah, yeah, let's get high. Hey, I got some of the worst <laughs> the worst swag in America right now. If you want to <laughs> smoke this, it's got dog hair all over. I can remember Pitt going, "Where to weed at?" Is that yeah. one of his? He still does lines? it. Okay. I got. We convinced him to use that stage? line. Or did he do it on stage? No, he just used to. We'd be smoking pot behind the comedy store, and Pid would always swing the door open dramatically, and give like a look around, like a a, cool... make sure everybody knows that I just walked in. Yeah, and they'd go, "Hey, where do we eat at?" <laughs> and we were like, "Dude, that's I knew your." I remember that. I that like, is your catchphrase, bro. I think it was it's... we pushed really hard to get. Oh, him dude, to... he. It, it, I think he tried it for a while. He did a solid, and then it wasn't a solid three or four months. Yeah. 
And there, it doesn't work, guys. You're like, That's because you're not doing it enough. <laughs> Who is that? Josh enough. Porter? Enough. I, was enough. I wanted it to be like his get her Porter? done. Why you, that? He's, he's the Buffalo comic. He's like legally blind. Yeah. Good dude. Oh, funny. Josh he's Potter. His, oh, Potter. What did I say? Porter. Porter. Oh, yeah. I'm so Porter. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. You're combining Chris Potter, Porter. I like yes. A lot. yes. I just yes, saw yes. Chris okay, Porter. Yeah, yeah. I know so, Josh Potter. I um, thought there was somebody. Yeah, because he, because we were talking. I hadn't met him before, but last week I ran into him and he before he moved out here he was in buffalo and he knew pid yeah yes. and i started doing all the That's pid right, bits we and he was that. like yes he still does all of it <laughs> yeah. frogger yep. all the fucking uh what was the other big bit homeless go pro yeah <laughs> it's like a uh, fucking aquarium the, for the, yeah, losers the, yeah the fish <laughs> the bus yeah you yeah. know he did all the hits when i was up there this is probably f- 5 or 6 years ago and uh andy was the manager then and then I, that's what how I met. That's it? how I met Josh. It's Helium in Helium. Buffalo. Oh, oh, okay. So it yeah. is like a legit. Yeah. Cl- club. No, no, it's a real club. Okay. And so Pid was supposed to open the shows with me and Ren is Easy. He was going to do like a guest spot. That's like in the. So he just done. Sh- he did, just didn't show up. He did the same thing to us. We go, Pid, you got to come open the show. Yeah. Why didn't, didn't he? He show didn't show up? up, and then the next day he calls us. And we're like, what the fuck, man? He's like, oh, I had some domestic issues. <laughs> 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 and so we go, what happened, man? Well, <laughs> Rick, I just took a drink. He goes, we need, uh, we needed money, and uh, so <laughs> I told my girl to, you know, call your boss, tell her to give you the money early. And so she, which she always called, works that yeah, way, because paychecks are <laughs> yeah. front me that money. He watched Goodfellas the night before. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, she's talking to her boss. I grabbed the phone. I go, hey, you either write us the check right now or she quits. So they fired her. <laughs> Can you imagine, Pid? He's like, all right, got the perfect power move. Power, power move. Can you imagine that man's mind working? He's like, all right, I've solved our financial worries. Don't worry. And if anything fails, you give me the phone. I'll sweet talk her. <laughs> Pid, then Steve's like. By the way, she probably got fired. She was so old, she was probably like three years away from retirement. Hey, man. Wait a minute. They just got married a month ago. Oh, that lady? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was that lady's daughter. <laughs> no, no. I thought she died a few years ago, and then Pid married she his. She did die. Hey, He's yeah. would have been a stepdaughter. I'm trying to get that that government check. So we have to be married, otherwise yeah. it ain't legal. She delayed Social Security three years, <laughs> so we get paid more. He. uh... He, we got him to show up then to do the sh- the show Saturday night, <laughs> and Pid shows up. We're backstage, and he's like, "Hey, uh, I'm gonna do the classics for you guys tonight." Oh, like perfect. he's gonna fucking honor you. He's like, "I know you guys wanted, so here it is." I know why you came to Buffalo. I'm gonna give you the good stuff, not so, the stuff I've been doing up here. So he's he's doing his his bits, and it's all the same things. And, so- <laughs> and I turn to Andy, and I go. What does he talk about up here? He's like, these jokes. These are the jokes he does. Like, what? He told me these are the classics. <laughs> like he was doing the hits. It was like Dice doing the nursery rhymes. <laughs> I know you guys are clamoring for hey, it. Where do we eat at? We he didn't open with that, so that was where nice. Where do we eat at? Yeah, he oh, my God. God. That, that was, was that for, was for my buddy Rick. I'm like, they don't know who I am. I haven't performed yet. <laughs> Fresh crowd, Pid. <laughs> Work the crowd, Pid. Oh, this Pid's great. Do you think that? Yeah, <laughs> this is, guy's crushing. Any other club has crazy characters like we I have think, here? I think they the all store? do. A you, lot if of you them. go to any green room, you'll always yeah, find out some right. lunatic Even hanging out the back. Even in any state, right? Like, oh, d- I swear to God, we've gone places where Ren is easy. Like, we, we can't. Like, we have to tell them that we're flying out tonight. Like, this person's going to hang out with it. We have to say that we're gone. We're, out. we're not even going to be here. It's the one-nighter. Like, we can't be hang out with this person any longer. Dude, like, I remember the locals always come, not everywhere, but, like, you'll always have that one that's horrible. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Who's, like, just inserts themselves the in, boons of the... in the group. Yeah. Uh, there was a dude at uh, Wiley's in Dayton, Ohio, that we walked in, and we weren't even showing up for the shows we were just going to the club in the afternoon it was like probably three in the afternoon or something this dude was already there chilling at the bar looking like rasputin <laughs> i'm just like look at this dude so we go in we do our thing we leave go back to the fucking hotel show up at six forty-five or whatever it is for the seven thirty show and fucking rasputin's in the same fucking uh, chair uh, he's like hey man if you want acid just let me know i'm like no i don't want Acid. Yeah, great. That's what I came here <laughs> for. Thanks, Rasputin. <laughs> Let some me guys some balls. Fucking, I guess when you get older, though, yeah, you're like, no, man, I don't even want to fucking smoke weed till the last night. 
Like it fucks you. What do you do on the road? I don't you smoke drink weed, or anything. Nothing, nothing. Nothing. Well, most of the time I babysit, but uh, <laughs> well, most of the time you're <laughs> sucking that big old. She's chasing Mario. <laughs> yeah, or any Mario. Big time Tommy, right? Well, you're always on day two. Oh, time time. I forgot. Hey, guess what? I'm doing uh, New Year's big, Eve. Uh oh, at, at his house. Brokerage Ooh. in Long Island. What's Brokerage? It's it's a club. It's like Governors. It's the same guy that owns it. He owns three on the okay. island. One's Governors, one's Brokerage, and one's They're McGuire's. Clubs? Yeah. So got, there's three comedy clubs on Long Island. Pretty Island? big. Why do you yeah. just make one big one? And then, oh, well, it's Governors all, all is over. big, but yeah. then you go okay. a couple towns over, and you got McGuire's and uh, okay. Brokerage. So I'm Tommy. I'm gonna be. He's gonna be there. New Year's Eve. Let's ring oh in the God. New Year. Good thing Take it's after it. Christmas, because he'd be like. <laughs> Police Navi da, it's Christmas. Stop <laughs> saying that. He has a great video he's very of him. Republican. It's Listen, that. Yeah. Did you ever say, uh, like, just nicely say to somebody, hey, happy holidays, trying to lump it all in? Because yeah. I don't know what people <laughs> say. Like, I don't think yeah. about it. I wrote that online, and my friend was like, it's Merry Christmas. I'm like, yeah, to you, bitch, but to the yeah. 90 other thousand yes. people on here, uh, whatever. Like, I don't even think of that as a political if someone, thing. If someone ever. If I said happy holidays and someone was like, it's Merry Christmas, you just, you murder that person you on the spot. To. I thought about it. You have to. Yeah. Also, it's all a sham anyway. Who it, cares? Look at you, yeah. you soulless Fuck Christmas. motherfucker. Commercialism. Oh, Jesus, baby Jesus. Don't say I gotta bow my head. Why there is no that? God. All right, so. I believe that. <laughs> when I did Francisco Ramos's podcast, we were supposed to talk about traveling. Yeah. But it literally turned into 15 minutes of me trying to convince Francisco that there is no God. What was he, what was he saying? <laughs> he just, I just mentioned I was atheist, and then his podcast partner was like, yeah, me too. And then it just... For some reason, oh was he just blessing himself the whole time? He's very no. Flat. He's very he's very calm about. It. He's just like, I believe. I don't know. I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, you dumb <laughs> fuck. Like, you yeah, that's you exactly right. Him. Baby you, Jesus you, was just a I'm little person. My neck. You think he was a midget? He was a little person that went town to town to con people into letting his family stay for free. Yep. Getting a bunch of free shit, getting free. Okay. They did it for years. He was the original like she's. Saying. The original she's. The original she's. He was just a mooch. Oh, you got a couch I could crash on? It, it, yeah. It, it, all right, Baby Jesus. Jesus was like, basically, <laughs> I'm in town for like three days. <laughs> I got a kickstand. You couch like a, couch. You got like a hay barn I could stay in. <laughs> Some sort of a manger type this scenario. Is sacrilegious. Basically, you got like three dudes who can come bring me some fucking shit. <laughs> God, so wait, did you grow up with any? Thruxley kind of was an apostle. Um, yeah, uh, was an apostle. yeah, we did the religion of like, um, you better work. Because you grew up on a in a hotel. Yeah, we had a motel and we had a motel. farm, both twenty four hour a day businesses. I didn't mean to upgrade yeah. you by hotel. Yes, I sorry, always sorry. say. Hotels are where Real you stay trash. at when you go on vacation. Motels are where you go when you want to drink yourself to death. I think Bill Burr had the. Uh, is, it's very poetic. Bill Burr used to do the bit like a motel is like a a, a serial killer's buffet. You yeah. just knock on any door. And I lived there, and I got to see many <laughs> roll through. Yeah, I'm perfect. sure we've had some that went in there, but yeah, oh, 100 percent. We are, but my parents did send us to Sunday school. I think I went for a couple years, and I don't remember. I remember going there, going, "This is insane!" Like yeah. I went there because they had donuts. Yeah, I mean, that they makes had donuts perfect. So did I. Did stuff they like do, that. Yeah, they do to lure you in. Lure yeah, you you're, you're like, like, "Oh, they got good yeah. chocolate milk and donuts." And I don't remember anything that they taught me because I knew even then I was like, "This is bullshit." This did they touch insane. it? As soon as, as no, soon... I touched them. <laughs> I was raping priests as a child. A lot of people don't realize that you've always believed in instant karma. Yes. Oh, I and like that. You said, I, I heard you've been diddling. Yep. Prepare to be diddled. Yep. <laughs> I'm the diddler now. <laughs> Who's the, your diddler? The, I was like, if you pull this cock out of my mouth, I will bite it off. <laughs> you better come hard. Whoa. Or you're going to be you or you're the, going to burn it out. Did you have your eagle on the shoulder? <laughs> I had a falcon here. A falcon. I also had a raccoon back then. No, I didn't get the raccoon till later. A real we did raccoon? Have a ra like yeah, we had a real just... raccoon. Like in the house? I found it. I was coming back from the Indy 500 with my buddy. We stopped at these damn hillbillies that we knew. By the way, these hillbillies would like once a month go into a town that had one movie theater. It was like a town of 4,000. Okay. That was going to the big city to I'm try listening. to pick up chicks. <laughs> I'm with you. This is how remote they were. These guys were in the middle of fight. So we stopped by and they're like, hey, we got a raccoon. And your like, mother was dead. We ate anymore. the mother because scooped it up whoa, roadkill. Whoa, wait. Was big. Time out. You ate the mother? We didn't. They ate the mother. The hillbillies that they uh, 
acquired the raccoon from. <laughs> roadkill. The roadkill mother. Ate roadkill. Ate the roadkill. <laughs> roadkill, they would also. Did they make a hat? No. Can you make too a hat? Cr- you can make a hat. We used to have a raccoon tail that we made. Not off the one we had. But so, yeah, so we took it in. But they're so separate, smart. Separate raccoon they really tail. Are Different smart. raccoon. They're so smart. They My- would get out of the cage constantly. And yeah. so finally, we just had to let them run around the house. They got the little hand, the little. Yeah. And when we crafty. Oh, yeah, very crafty. Well, very, very crafty with our Remind me of something. <laughs> but, yeah, my ex in uh, Silver Lake, Atwater, whatever you want to call the it. Is this the guy who had the tiger? No, my ex. <laughs> Did you ever hear Eleanor? <laughs> she said asshole. it was legally <laughs> at three years old in Philly. You had to euthanize your tiger. <laughs> no, this is what they said. She said it was that the law. When the tiger, my, my friend was, get, his parents were getting a divorce. Yep. His father was Classic a Classic story. Shark. Yeah. yeah. His mother was just a hairdresser. Not so just a hairdresser. Hairdressers make a difference in this You're world. You're absolutely Illinois. right. They do nice things. Yep. But they don't make as much money as a loan shark would make. Absolutely. She bought him a Walkman. The father was like, oh, you want to play games? He brought her a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> the classic Walkman versus yeah. tiger debate. The old, you brought a Who's Walkman to a tiger fight. <laughs> <laughs> she brought me a fucking Walkman. Yeah. You know what you need to do? Get her a goddamn tiger. You, you know what, though? We Can't listen to the Pidcast on a tiger, so. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is exclusive. This is yeah. going to be like that Wu-Tang album. My wife is so that old. That the pharma she's, bro bought. She's a tiger. <laughs> it's so, But we had the tiger for a while. We walk him around the neighborhood. My um, friend VJ got you bit by a squirrel, walked? a rabbit, a rabbit squirrel. And then, you, you, and then what? You well, what happened? The you squirrel the came tiger out. On <laughs> out no, the he tiger let go. the. He was holding the tiger. He let it go because he was like ah. And all of a sudden, the where tiger the fuck did you live? Was running. Squirrels are attacking you, <laughs> guys. What? This is Philly. <laughs> Ra- South or is this the middle of the Amazon? <laughs> Mark my words. <laughs> rabbit squirrel attacked the guy who was walking <laughs> with a tiger. <laughs> Cats and dogs living together. We had to take him yeah, to the that's hospital. what he should have said. Guy walking down the street carrying a tiger, squirrels attacking him, mass hysteria. <laughs> this is you. I don't. The even Kerrigans know. Thursdays you on Must See TV. You come over and sit and ask questions. We'll tell you the whole thing. Well, I talked to your brother on the phone. Oh yeah, Billy called in a couple times. <laughs> Oh, my God. Is he a character? Charlie. Oh, he, like, threatens your life. He's like, who the oh, fuck yeah. is this, motherfucker? If I ever fucking see you, I'll fucking. I was like, who Rick gets fuck? threats online from my brother Johnny, so you guys he's are, used to it. You guys are t- awful, lot of, awful lot of insults going on the podcast. <laughs> this is Ryan O'Neill, if you guys want to get him. <laughs> oh, by the way, check me out on Instagram, Ryan O'Neill Comedy, at Ryan O'Neill Comedy. Wow. Yeah. Also, watch Beach Cops. Listen Beach to Beach Cops. Beach Cops is so good. Have you done Beach Cops? No, tell me about Beach Cops. It's fun. It's, uh, well, okay. Do you like farting into microphones <laughs> for 40 minutes? <laughs> do I? Yeah, that's you how did. we warm up. Did you do that when I was there? I don't remember. We've done Beach Cops once or twice. I think I did it twice. Yeah. Is this just a regular podcast? Is it um, is it a, it's a on scripted Patreon. show? This is their Patreon. Okay. Yeah, it's it's scripted show. People have accused it us of <laughs> writing a script every week, a three hour script. <laughs> People are like, great script this week, guys. Seems like you really stuck <laughs> to it. <laughs> three hours. I didn't um, realize. Yeah. So this every was week an we epic. Write, they're usually about the last week. Each one's a trilogy. Three. Yeah. It was three and a half hours last week. Usually we try to hit the point where we're completely exhausted, and then we go into some form of mania. Nice. And we lose all our – and that's where the – so the gold is at the last 30 minutes. <laughs> just, hey, fast forward this if you're just looking to get a quick <laughs> hit on this thing. Um, and, and you've already John, paid for it, so. John Little has been like, beach cops, I had to take a break. It's too, it's too chaotic. Yeah, it, it, O'Neal, it fucked with my head. Earl Skakel <laughs> never did drugs. No. He, he goes – I, I don't want to do this anymore. He's like, I've never done drugs, but I have a feeling this is what it feels like. He's like, I don't know if I can drive home. <laughs> wow. Um, it's one of those things where we it's push fun. the envelope it's until you fun. lose your mind. Yeah, I Not like that. Not me. I loved it. I, I think it's great. Yeah, Eleanor but I'm likes already it. fucked up, so yeah. it doesn't work. We also used to do it in the dark. So keep that in mind. That's nice. Yeah. Did we, we, do it at pitch we did black. it in the dark once. I, uh, did we? Maybe I think we so. did. By the way, I love this uh 
This lighting. isn't dark, by the what way. Is this, this, like is a, this is part of the interrogation <laughs> yeah. technique. We want to know. Sometimes they flicker. It, it's a uncomfortable What moment. we're going to do is ask questions, and the lights will switch just to you <laughs> off of us. Yeah. Yeah. Is your lighting guy from uh, Eastern Europe? Because <laughs> uh, this yeah. is like <laughs> communist-style lighting right here. i got to be honest with you. <laughs> he uh, raised his hand, they, Tony. They no longer. <laughs> Eastern Europe, Tony? Thank they you. They no longer need yeah. help with the ice machine, so we got Jerry Gelber. Doing all the lighting around here now. <laughs> no, you do not. <laughs> yes. Jerry, no. Jerry Gelber is still alive. Yes. Yeah. He he's survived very COVID. Mad at you. He still wants to talk to you. He's what does he want to talk he, to me he's about? Very not upset happy. with you. Not happy. What did at he all. say? Now? What did you do oh to Jerry God. Gelber? You know, they were I did the Argus Hamilton show. Oh, did you? Which I love when people put that <laughs> yeah. as their writing credit. I saw someone on Twitter that had no. writing credit. Argus Hamilton. You show. shut yeah. your I fucking mouth. I swear to God. The comedy store oh, tonight like, with Argus Hamilton. Yes. And he was like ri- like writing staff or something, but I did it. I remember the Gelbers were front row, and I thought it was like I thought it was like this because I opened up was with excited? yeah. I opened up with the classic first time I met Mitzi. She said Dean had raped her. <laughs> classic Cri- crickets. Yeah. I, got, I got Argus. <laughs> no one's going. For no it. one's going for this. Because Argus like that's usually me. Uh... Oh, I so he after ten minutes he's don't like, give him my credits. That's <laughs> he ran out of things to talk about, so I had to no. carry. I had to go Argus. We've only been here 10 minutes, and I had to start throwing stuff out like a fucking podcast because he's like, uh, okay, so what, how often are you in Vegas? Like, what are you, who the f- Is that just a thing he says Dude, to everybody? You go into your Vegas bit night. then. Yes. Then I go, I just don't, no, I mean, I, after a while, he didn't have any, he had nothing prepared. I guess whoever put the writing staff on there. They were off at that yeah. time. And the Gelbers, Jerry, I could just see Jerry. He was closer. He was like, his knees were I like remember. touching my knees. I did, I did the Argus Hamilton tonight as well. I can't believe well, one of you And they were it. so close. Yeah. They're, I thought it would be fun. And it was. I it did actually, not do it. It ended up being fun because you could just make yeah, fun you, of Argus for being so out of touch. I was like, Ar- who's going to Vegas, Argus? <laughs> Dude, Argus, it's so great. The first, the night I did it. Sinatra's he's like, headlining this week. He goes, like, he's just, he's in one time. Uh, Frank Sinatra Jr., that is. <laughs> <laughs> Frank Sinatra Jr. Jr. <laughs> he and Barry Diamond are doing a duet. And he's he was all excited. He's like, Oh, we got a sponsor. I'm just like, who the fuck is sponsoring this? Oh, I was pissed. And it was so it literally was just sponsor. they convinced one of our alcohol suppliers to like give a thousand bucks. Which is so a crazy like, amount of money yeah. for someone who for got this three hundred But they were making listeners. Yeah, they were making so much money. Off here, money yeah. off of selling beer here. They're just like whatever. That'll make you happy. You want a thousand bucks, whatever it was. Oh my god! So it was like Belvedere vodka or something. And so Argus is like, oh, I'm gonna do it. I'll just wing the ad. <laughs> and he proceeds to give a. Uh, <coughs> oh yeah, I don't. Know. He gives a re- oh, okay. If you're looking to have a good time with the ladies. <laughs> if you're looking to get them nice and fucked he up, gives a Cosby uh, recipe. He, he <laughs> women will get so drunk. They won't even know you're taking off their panties and putting a couple digits in there. That's like a fucking 1970s rape ad <laughs> for Belvedere. That's what he did. Jesus Christ, like, are you serious? And he's like, Malibu rum. <laughs> <laughs> Man, nothing. And they're just like, they stopped, and Brett, the guy who was produced, like, that's that's not the brand. Oh, it's, do we need to do it again? Like, yeah, probably. Oh, my. Nothing will help a woman forget a rape <laughs> like Belvedere vodka. By the way, what that time? is not an official ad, Belvedere. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you're looking at the camera. I, got, I was like, wait, this what? This camera keeps going from red to green. Is that normal? Because I feel it's, like it's not it, capturing anything. It's, it's television style, bro. It's letting you know the camera's on you. The camera's okay. on me. Yeah, okay. I keep seeing red Editing light green. You in, know what it in is? in progress. This is Squid Games. Red light green light. Oh, okay. Light. Have you watched? I have. Really? I love it. Have you, Rick? Absolutely not. Same. Do I'm not. Like, I would never even watch act that. like. I like. I'm not trying to get COVID. I don't even know what it is. Wait, watching Squid Game? Do you get COVID? <laughs> yeah. Trust just, me. <laughs> trust me, bro. Are you even gonna trust us on this? Okay, I'm trusting you guys. Thank don't you. steer me wrong. Oh, by the way, before I did the Argus show, I went in the back bar looking for get some water, and he was sitting there going over notes, like yeah. like he was doing it tonight. And that With then he gets here, he's got nothing. 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 This big. <laughs> nothing. He's got nothing. Did he even like Google Ryan O'Neill? Nope. As, no, he was doing Farrah Fawcett jokes. At least, jokes yeah, ask you and, questions like, about that. Or, yeah. No, I swear to God. Daughter, you're like, wait, I, what? I had to keep it going for like ten minutes, and then luckily, 
he just finally almost tapped out, and I was like, let me just run with this, Argus. <laughs> I'll just go for the next 10 minutes. Well, well Rick, so. thanks for being here. Uh, Bruce Baum actually stopping by, <laughs> so you're going to be the second interview. I was the – yeah, there was someone else got, before there. I got bumped. Fucking Bruce Baum, the pepper man? It's so fucking crazy to think, like, how – this is what always worries me about this career – is that like or we're all going to be Argus? At That's where I'm going to be. Oh no, we're he was we're, we're close. He we're had more than any of us ever, ever. had. He was uh, in the so much more. way more successful. And now he's just a like. He was on the Tonight Show how many times? 163,000 times. And was times. in the running for he, possibly taking and over for Carson. It. He right? was yeah. yeah, he was on the Tonight Show uh, one episode for every download of Michael Wheels Parisi's new <laughs> podcast. Don't eat the last meatball. <laughs> 165,000 Yeah, that's 160. I mean, we just picked up 15,000 people just well, now. Just like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, word is everyone loves meatballs. Every, word is spreading. The meatball community is really who's behind oh. this podcast. Does that, do you have internet down here? No. You've got to read the description oh, of his podcast. It's like from the genius comedic mind of Michael Parisi. Yeah. Right. He's not wrong. The man can make yeah. a hell of a swordfish. Wasn't not going to lie. Can he really? Oh. Can he cook? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He, he could, can. He can indeed cook. He why can didn't he cook. just? Why didn't he just embrace that? Drop everything else. I I don't know. I I mean. That's... You're not going to get the downloads if you're not comedic that's genius. That's true. And didn't he say that, like, wheels stands for because the wheels in his brain Yeah, they're spins. always turning. When I was in Alaska. <laughs> they, ha- we, they were on it. By the way, I love nothing better. Both of you did the Alaska. Yes, game. obviously. Yeah. If, you're gonna, if you're going to leave the Continental 48, you do it with Continental wheels Parisi. <laughs> I've never sm- felt more like a piece of shit than when I went to that radio show. Because I went with them, and they basically were just like, get, get away. We need to talk to the king. <laughs> Michael Wheels Parisi here. This guy is a fucking is superstar. Yeah. And then I would chime in, and basically they were like, what, what do you, let him. This is the like fucking Michael Wheels Parisi. How dare you even try to interject? Dude, he's so t- funny. We're doing the morning radio, and he goes, you know, I was banned from here. And the guy was like, the radio station? He's like, no, the state of Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> I almost died. The guy goes, what? They banned you from the state? The uh, whole state? Oh, yeah. Yes. But some of the things they said were so outrageous. So outrageous? <laughs> what could he have said? <laughs> the fuck? You get- this is Alaska, by the Did way. Where the fucking, nuts? it's like seven women to one, or no, seven men to one woman. Do you know how many rapes are going on? People, convicts go there. To escape society. They're like, finally I can live with other criminals <laughs> and do criminal behavior here and fucking do whatever I want. And Michael Wheels Parisi <laughs> said something that was so offensive that they're like, you can't come back here. <laughs> it's literally the, the last I'm resort dead. for people. They have so much, so many legal problems on the lower 48 that they go to Alaska yeah. where they can finally be free. <laughs> Serial killers go there You're because so they angry can right fucking now. kill. I love it's so, this. it's this insane is to me to think that this, because I was in there when he did the wheels. <laughs> Callers were calling in asking what wheels meant. And what did he say? Finally, I I don't even remember what the guesses were. So he's like, hey, I don't think you're gonna get it. It's because the wheels are always turning. I'm so I'm so quick with it. And I go, and then I I go, you know what? I will give him that credit because he can lie on a dime. Yeah. Like that guy yeah, can quick. make up a lie. Yeah, he's good. So the wheels really he are also always can turning. Can be very funny. Like I'm not shitting on him. He's done very well. Like as far Eleanor, as like, on you've stage. You've been brainwashed. I'm being serious. Like I've seen him on stage kill. Yeah, Kill. the bathrobe. Do, do the, the bathrobe. I've never seen him in a bathrobe. Do bath the robe, fabulous but, six and get but off. But Andrew would tease him about do the fabulous seven. You know, way more than seven minutes. Like, uh, <laughs> g- g- go on the 101, get off, get back on. <laughs> yeah, 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 but to me, driving this side will say, uh, let's be a wall. It says Long Beach. <laughs> How quick he can come up with a lie. How quick. So good, dude. That's, that's impressive, too. It is impressive. And the, the size of the lie. Dude, to tell, to <laughs> one... To try and pitch how outrageous you are to the listeners of Alaska's number two <laughs> rock station. I'm, the show's so outrageous, they banned me from the state. Like, never in my life said. have I heard. <laughs> Nobody said anything. A, they never get banned from wait, fucking. You, know what, you can't get banned from the state. There's probably a woman sitting at home listening going, I wonder what he said. I was just raped, and that guy's still here. Yeah, I was like, raped. <laughs> and by the way, that guy was a cop. And yeah. everybody and the and the cops are like, ah, he's a buddy of ours. We drink with him on Tuesdays. Part-time. Everything's cool. It's a, he was a part time cop. Oh, Wheel said something that was worse than someone physically being raped or murdered. 
That's, I that's what outrageous it was. I want to know what it was. Anyway, Meanwhile, so come down to the shed uh, and uh, see what uh, <laughs> see what I got going on People there. People are screaming the N word in the street. <laughs> I saw a lynching in Anchorage. No, you I saw guys up. with pitchforks and torches. <laughs> Chasing a black guy down the street and wheels get There's kicked no out. Black people in Alaska. There was one guy. What? Yeah, he had a layover and they ran Poor him out of the thing. airport. <laughs> How do I get a layover in Alaska? In, in uh, my commentary on the whole thing, that's what got me banned. Yeah, you think I mean, the commentary. It was, I got banned because it was so funny. People were too many people shit their pants while they were laughing, and so I, it, it, they didn't have enough underwear at uh, Walmart in statewide. Yeah, they, they ran out. a shortage on uh, tidy whities. <laughs> That's what he would say. <laughs> That's like a plausible wheels. Does wheels uh, ever add? Does he listen to any of this and ever? Because I imagine I that. I hope so. I imagine at least 13 of those 41 days that you could listen to me on podcasts yeah. are just dedicated to shitting on wheels. <laughs> <laughs> it's a special Have amount of time. Have you done that a lot? On a I just can't stand liars. Lying. Yeah. Like just. Don't be full of shit. Pure unadulterated lying like no uh. checks and balances have you ever lied oh yeah, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> but not like this i'm not like i'm not the baby from the godfather Wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like of course everybody Excuse lies me, you mean played the baby in godfather yeah, 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 yeah. i, I played I, the I, baby. My, my old name was francis ford coppola <laughs> i francis ford coppola the guy now bought that name from me. Damn, because I, I sold it to him after the. You after had so much heat. Success. You yeah, had so much heat. I said, "I'll just sell the name and you just go ahead and." Drink. Oh. That's why all his movies stunk after that. We have the greatest characters that come through. And comics in general are the craziest yeah. fucking. But you people. know what? I, it, I feel like all it was always over. like this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But every place has the craziest. No, I, I'm actually getting tired of it because my whole life was built around these types of people. Because we're becoming artists. Yeah. yeah. But no, we're even getting but, to be the older. When I was a kid, all my dad's friends were ex-cons. Okay. And they all had it. Like, it was just like I went from from where One I was living to back to where exactly. I was living. And I'm like, what am I? Like, what, what, what about me is attracting these people to my life? That's Appreciation. What That's to. what it is. Someone yeah. was like, "How can you talk?" They're like, "How can you ever talk to these people?" I'm like, "I I appreciate the just do, awful yeah. insanity of them the so much more than it's the entertainment, fake, the fake bullshit of I know so many conversations here." Whereas when I talk to Boone Shock, I know what I'm getting. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting wild out, yes. dick side suck talk. Yeah, he's gonna throw in. Sense. He's gonna throw in some like mid '70s disco references that I do not understand. He's gonna say, okay. "I did not rape." Tony click clack. Yeah, at oh. least a dozen times. Yes. And, and then he's going to go through the whole, ooh, I saw Rick Glassman the other day. He's a dud. <laughs> <laughs> he pitched me that concept for like a year straight. Ooh, you know who I saw? Rick Glassman? Yeah. <laughs> he's a dud. <laughs> that was the only commentary he ever he's gave. He's like, hey, Rick Glassman just picked He just gets him. stuck on things for like two years. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and then it'll be gone. It'll be like now. What? Oh, what? Usher's plunger gay. sucked like, that out okay. of his brain. Like, how did he get finally get rid he of? He got it? a new. He just finds a new one. Finds a new, and then it, it takes the one spot. For a it's while, like, it was like I can't believe I'm in love with a married man. <laughs> About Dan Bilek. Damn, Danny Bilek. Yeah, yeah, which who knows what's going on there. Yeah. What do you mean? Well, I think Boone knows. Uh, da- yeah. <laughs> Boone is definitely. Do you think Boone spent his whole COVID looking for Danny Bilek? Is, has anyone seen him? Did he survive it? He's Boone around. Or Danny? So, someone saw Boone like two months ago. Really? They're they telling everyone up here. There was a Boone here, spotting. There was a Boone sighting. Wow. Supposedly he brought it into the U.S. He's like, I was just in Wuhan. Oh. <laughs> I was into those wet markets. <laughs> <laughs> I, ooh, I was getting ready to eat a bat. <laughs> oh, no, dude. That's how it happened. <laughs> well, I had a bat bite my dick. Did you have a nice COVID? Um, is I, that how is, we should say it? It was like, business as usual. Um, how was your what COVID? What does that mean? I'm like, I, he, was, he was beach copping. Yeah. He was, I was, no, oh, I mean, right. you were podcasting. I'm also, par- like, I'm already paranoid about all this shit anyway, so I, was, I always wash my hands. I always wear a plastic glove when because I go to the ATM. Because you were raised by humans, you mean? What are you talking about? Uh, yeah. I hate when people OCD, don't wash their hands. Fucking, I, like, I'm super OCD anyway, so it was, uh, you know. But yeah, it was regular shit. Um, you got shot got at. Got shot at. Was okay. almost murdered. Just walk around the streets late at night. You know, the <laughs> usual standard L.A. Yeah. Did we? I talk- did love it. I was riding my bike. I would rent Me those too. Metro electric bikes. 
Oh, I didn't pedals. do that. And so I would go downtown. I would go to Beverly Hill. I would just you would I would be cruising down the middle of sunset. There would be no, there was nothing. I did it so many so times, awesome. but on a regular bike because I'm a person and yeah. like to exercise. I loved it. I was like, if I have to give up part of my income. And the economy has to be destroyed, but I can drive on these streets with nobody on them, then I will take that. Yeah, uh, it was awesome. There was a few times where I, was, I drove around and it took me like 20 minutes yes. to get like. You're like, things are really 20 minutes yeah. away. Yeah. Yeah. You're just like, this is amazing. But then it, once it started coming back, I immediately was just like, oh, well, this the sucks. anger. Yeah. 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 Yes. Uh, Dude, I was so relaxed. Yeah. Even when I got <laughs> almost murdered, I was like. Hey, no traffic out here, though. Am I right, guy? <laughs> <laughs> if, if this were a regular night, when you were shooting me, I would have been hit by a car when I ran Wait, into the street. Wait, did you talk about that on here? I forget. Did no. they have you on? This you... Is, that was last July. It happened last July. Yeah. Who shot at you? Some guy tried oh. to murder me. Uh, so it's weird. So was I used it, to be able to tell party, the story. Was it Party P? <laughs> It'd be great. In blackface and a sweatshirt? <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> party Pete's like, it's, it's, I'm, done with, I'm done with the swift kick to the peaches. <laughs> This is what I meant by swift kick to the peaches. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? What does that mean? Oh, uh, there was a snap kick to the peaches. Snap kick. Yes. Snap kick. There was a uh, there was a Dean 15 member. I remember who yeah. he is. I just don't know about the peaches part. He hated O'Neal. I remember O'Neal Party would Pete. Taunt I see him. him still. Yeah. He didn't die. Party Pete threatened O'Neal yeah. that he was going to. He basically was trying to threaten him with a fight, but his way of saying it was a snap kick. You're going to find yourself on the wrong end of a snap kick to the peaches. <laughs> but he's dead serious. <laughs> yeah. who, who uses peaches in a threat? You know what I mean? It's like the most non-threatening of all fruits. Did you just laugh at it? It's, uh, yeah, I think, oh, remember when I was talking about his snap lady that he shipped over here from, like, Thailand? Yeah. And it was a bunch of people around, and then he's like, you son of a bitch. And he charged me, and I grabbed him and slammed him against the wall. And then he's like, oh, you're, you're lucky, or whatever he said. But I was like, peaches. Yeah. And then he gave me the, all right. Ryan O'Neill's a lot stronger than he looks. <laughs> like that. All right, party Pete. I'm going to have a tough time getting to those peaches. Yeah, those peaches are going to be rock hard. <laughs> Might break my foot on They're all pits. That's what I told him. Oh, I go, my peaches are all, all pits. pits. <laughs> it's true. I've heard some rumors about. What, my balls? Well, the whole. My word dick? Of, the three-piece set. Oh, wait, from Ari? Uh, Another one. Oh, he from, has a, uh, wait, Rene Didi? Yeah, what? <laughs> oh, this is the great. Will he listen to this? Probably not. We, I don't we, could, we can edit so. the I mean, clip we can and send edit it to him. Send it to no, him. no, no, because I don't want him to hear this because this is an ongoing thing. <laughs> Got it. Okay, so, so I'll let Ari's, it go. Ari was average. By the way, I'll be in Salt Lake City on March 6th, <laughs> and yep. guess who else is going to be there? So proud Me, of you. Mark Norman. Uh Steve Renadizzi. Yes. And uh, does he sound Ari like Shafir. that? Find out March sixth. <laughs> <Yeah. 6th. laughs> you you decide. Um, and then it's gonna be Ari, and then maybe Shane Gillis. But it's gonna be the four of us for sure. Norman. Oh, this is one Renizizi, of your uh, Ari. trips, ski trips, ski trips or something different. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Second show was added. Nice. The first one sold out in three days, I think. Wow. It's not bad. One hundred and fifty thousand downloads. Now. So, uh, so this is you guys do a ski trip every year. That's yeah. the deal. We try to. Ari and I started doing it, and then we started bringing more people in. We had Bert one year. Because you used Bert, to do Norman. the Ari stories, right? Like Ari. on the sh the shows with oh be the storytelling storytelling shows. shows. I'm yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah. Because originally so this we went way there. This he can include everybody. Yeah, because it was uh, everyone had already gone through Wise Guys, right? Which is one of my favorite places. It's a great club. Ex Mormons. I've been there in a long time, and it's great. Best crowds ever. Yes. They've never invited me, so. I will. You gotta, you gotta invite yourself. Yes, that's right. Right? Uh, yeah. Tell him. That was almost Randy Savage style. <laughs> yeah. let, let me tell you something, wise guys. <laughs> you want to get there? You gotta get you gotta there yourself. Get yeah, you gotta go. Right. You, dude, they'll love you. They will oh love my God, you there. Rick. Dude, only people that go to comedy shows are ex Mormons. I, I, they're so the, funny. They're I they're only do religious type shows now. I've really changed my whole thing. You only do. Mormon shit. I am um, I pro Mormon uh, shit. It's more <clears throat> propaganda, really. Than okay. Anything. Oh, it's a new propaganda <laughs> style of comedy. I yeah. like that. So <laughs> I might start doing that. Mormons, you know, that's the way. I'm just gonna say that now, and if you want to find out more, you're gonna have to track me down at the temple, dude. The, any, the shrine. Any religion that's got a ladder in it, I'm in. I'm true. I take climbing the it to the I top. I take the ladder. I will suck your leader's cock. <laughs> Who is it? I will be it's that guy that points, wife. right? Yep. You know what that guy's the pointing at? The bugle boy. He's yeah. a bugle man. He's pointing at my cock because it's coming straight for his face, and he's going to start sucking. Or me. Sucking. I'll this be the third or fourth sister new, wife. I'm into it. My, my new pro-Mormon oh, yeah. show. 
fucked. You would you would fit in well in yeah, I share. a multiple I'm wife a good thing. Sharer. I feel like you don't want to have just one and guy need, you have to service. That's right. And I need to tag out. I'll have brother husbands too, yeah. as long as I can tag out stuff. Okay. Yeah, that would work very well for you. You should like find it. like a rich Mormon guy. Ooh, why'd you say rich? But I like that. You're would you not? Poor. By the way, you know she turned down Michael Bolton <laughs> so that she could date big time Tommy. Is that true? Michael Bolton's worth seventy million dollars, yeah. and he's on death's doorstep. <laughs> and she, she could have good, sucked her way two, into yeah. two or three rides, and he's he's out of the picture. He he would make you sign a prenup for sure. But prenups, what you get ten percent of that shit? At least seven minimum. million. <laughs> To fuck Michael Bolton? I Just look at old pictures you of him. You Michael Bolton over <laughs> take it easy. How dare you? How dare you? You you know that Big Time Tommy's more my speed. Yeah, I know. I know. You immobile. always used, you always said I used to masturbate to Grimace from McDonald's commercials. She have does, you see? Have you met? She him? does say that. I've seen photos of him. Do you? If he does, he ever come to LA? Because you got him. Have him on this oh, podcast. Oh man, I would listen. This is a comedy store podcast, and I would definitely break the rules to have yeah. him on here. You're big on the rules too. Everybody's like, we got you're start, super we big on start. rules. Uh, Everyone, Chris or Kevin Hart came in, and remember he bumped that night like a couple weeks well, ago. Okay, and you're like, Kevin he's not Hart, even paid regularly. He should. I, be I, on I was <laughs> teasing Kevin Hart. Hold on a second. I was teasing O'Neill because he got bumped by a non-paid regular. That named hurts. Kevin Hart. And it was funny because he's never worked here. I don't think I I've ever seen him in the original room. Have you? I've seen uh, him in the main room. Yeah, I've seen him in the main room. He hasn't come back either. He was. We lo- he come he, back. He wasn't that we famous. Back, but when I used to see, he used to do Fat, Fat Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah. yeah, he wasn't that famous. But he talked to me a couple times. He was super nice. I just remember being like, "That dude is nice." And then when he got famous, I'm like, "He wasn't this crazy then." Oh yeah, he. W- I used to see him what on Tripping on Tuesday. Just like the. Over the top character. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, hey man, look, he's raking it in. Let him rake it in. He got and mad at he me. He puts money into North Philadelphia, so go for it, Kevin. Fuck but, Philly. Fuck Philly. Hey, yeah, watch your South, fucking there, mouth. There's only one Philly. Trash it's people. South Philly. Let me tell you this. If Are you, you were, South Philly or you, North? South, bitch. Yeah, but so if you north. got shot. In South Philly, they wouldn't have missed. Do you understand oh that? Oh my! Because so. they're the mar- That's where all the marksmen go. <laughs> L.A. The Mario go. men. Oh, all the oh all the killers there. Because it would have been me shooting Very well you. trained. <laughs> no wait. So wait. He was mean to you? Or you no? Got- we. You know, you sit on the back door, and it was. Uh, oh, you mean the when you yeah, were working was it, here? Trip, uh, tripping. You worked tripping. What's on Thursdays? Crack them up Thursdays. Crack them up Thursdays. And he used to go, but still, I would still them available always. here at the world famous comedy store. Every Crack them up yeah. Thursdays. Crack They've been up. up. It's crazy. It's still Crack going on. Crack them up. Uh, it's the longest Sorry. running comedy show in the world. <laughs> no, it yeah. isn't. The universe. What Ding dong it? show. Oh, that's no, but Ding dong. It. I don't think only because back we're yet. not open on Mondays. If we were they open on Mondays. Back. To the Ding Dong Show. New, after the New Year, we'll the Ding Dong Show uh, once made a couple of people I had known for a couple of years go so crazy that they moved <laughs> away from Los Angeles. I, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> it was so spectacular. The only show to actually <laughs> cause people to lose their minds. He goes, I, maybe we and, should and let be, a lot more people see it. He so goes, we can I can't get rid of some folks. I can't be in the city anymore, man. I don't who? know what happened in that show the other night, yeah. but I'm who moving to Tucson. A good friend? You don't have to say their it's name. A man but who I likes mean, to like... run a lot. Okay. These were, uh, yeah, some waiter friends of mine from a restaurant I worked at came, <laughs> and we we uh, made them smoke pot. And wait, wait, you say we? You mean you and O'Neill? Me and uh, no, I didn't really smoke that much pot. No, he didn't here when I was working. It was already depressing enough. I didn't need. It was oh, me time to move slower. Yeah, it was me and Sheezer. Got it. And so we smoked them out, and then we took Smoke. them upstairs, put them in the Ding Dong Show, and this is like in the Big Mama Macintosh. Oh, the glory Dr. Oh. Carl. Yeah, Dr. Carl. Uh, Radomir. <laughs> yeah. Radimir. Barton. Oh, yes, Barton Ooh. trying to bite people with his AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing better when you go to a comedy show and you're like, now look, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to preface this by you could, this hypothetically, you could get AIDS because Tonight. Barton does bite people. He tried to bite Freddie Lockhart that one night. <laughs> He's like, I have AIDS. And we're like, great. <laughs> Congratulations. I don't know what you want from this. He's coming. To, hey, Darnell. I wanted to talk to you. I call you Darnell. I wanted to talk to you. Oh, yeah. What's up, man? Uh, If you call me this weekend and you want to party, just say that you want to hire me to uh, do some painting around the house, okay? 
was like, uh, okay, man. Yeah, okay. That sounds good. Like, who's going to, uh, yes, I will paint this weekend around your home. I'm available for painting. What? That's So these funny. were your, because I thought you were talking about Mac. Oh, oh no. Because no. do you remember you when Epravaya dog- and the Ding Dog, like, he got so into it that he had to take a break? That's oh, like he was, I see what you mean. He was asked yeah, to step yeah. away for a while <laughs> by, like, by his own mind or by, some other I people. I think outside sources and maybe like medical community <laughs> was like, you need <laughs> to step away from the show. You're going to fall in yeah. too deep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but next thing you know, you're going to be sitting up there laughing. Before you know it, you're going to be on stage and people are laughing at you. <laughs> They're all going to laugh at you. <laughs> I've seen the transition. Yeah. People wow. who are up there that are now on that stage. Yes, yes. And you sometimes ask, it could happen to any one of us. It could happen to you. Yeah, it really could. Because I, I was on that. I ended up being on that stage, too. Wait, so we didn't talk about the shooting and or the You issue can't talk with about the it. Peaches. This guy's. It's weird. So I used, I, I used to talk about it with no problem, and now it really, like, gets me welled up. Really? Which is weird, yeah. Like, in the past, like, six months or so. Oh, so you don't want to talk no, about it. No, I'll talk we about don't, it. We don't have to. He's going to no. he's gonna go crazy on wheels again, If you start though. crying, I, 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 I won't know what to do. <laughs> no, I won't. I'll put, was, I'll, I'll put tears in already so you won't know whether they're the fake tears or the real tears. Hired yeah, by Wheels Yeah, when a guy cries, Parisi. that fucks me up. Is that weird? Oh, really? It gets you, like, yeah. lady hard? No, it gets me the annoyed. The opposite? <laughs> the opposite? Oh, my wife, she loves it if someone really? cries. Well, she only seen me cry like twice ever. Nothing had to do with that shooting. But like <laughs> yeah, once. Yeah, right, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was surprised. So By here... the way, if that was me, I would have been like, right here. Right, right here. I would have been like, let's Diving get it Diving towards with. the this bullet. No, I bullshit. didn't. I, that, because, okay, so little things. Like little things, I fucking melt down on. Like, Interesting. I, I, melt, I get it. Big things, I have no problem handling. Sure, it's always the little things. But and my wife is like little things she can handle. Big things she just crumbles. So. Wow. So it's a good pairing. Yeah. Because me, yeah. if something major will happen, I'm like, yeah, this too. isn't a problem. What are you freaking out about? <laughs> and me, I'll be like, where the fuck are all the forks? <laughs> <laughs> This makes perfect sense. Yes, yeah, so it works out well. No, so I was walking because I walk in my neighborhood. Late night. I've been walking in that neighborhood for 15 years straight. Late okay. night. Sometimes I go out at 3 a.m. Sometimes I go out at fucking 10. Do you want to give your address out to yeah, exact so, location? Yeah, so guys, here we are. <laughs> oh, um, I know where you live. He, what no, he Jeff hates Danis me. Live? He would not. Yeah, he would not. He hates me. The cock blocker. Oh, look at this. I don't think he never even said my name. He's like, oh, really? Wait, look, he looks at me. He's not interested when in When we used to deliver groceries, I would see he'd see me at a stoplight, and then he'd hide behind a telephone pole, and he'd peek out. <laughs> and then like a week later, he'd be like, I saw you. And I was like, yeah, I saw you hiding behind the fucking telephone pole. What are you talking about? You were not like you're some fucking army sniper with camouflage on. Like sitting on a hilltop and you watch me through a scope. <laughs> You're in the fucking corner of Fairfax and Fountain. Like, before, like I fucking saw you, dude. He and he would peek out. Oh, and he would look. Oh, and I was like, and I would be staring right at him, and then he'd go, oh, "I saw you." <laughs> yeah, sneaking. He's like, yeah. He would always come up and say, "I know where your friends live." And like it's like, a threat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you better watch out. I know where your friends live. <laughs> like you got a bathtub? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? He did love that last time. You got a bathtub? That's uh, Could I take a bath at your house? You have a swimming pool? <laughs> you have a pool uh, or a pond? Yeah, so I walk all the time. Ah, uh, yeah. Pond, pond would be good, good for you. Too. Natural spring. <laughs> a little caddy shack. Uh, so we, I, I would just walk around the neighborhood. I always have different routes. I do them for a while. Yeah. But so this time I was going, I left at like, I don't know, one in the morning or so. And so I was walking down uh, on Franklin and, like, Western, you know. That's where I walk kind of down to. And then I come back on Franklin. And I pass a dude going the opposite directions. And I walk on the street. He's on the sidewalk. And then I just keep walking. But then I got, like, this feeling just, like, look behind you. So when I look behind me, he's, like, a block behind me. And he's going my direction. So I'm like, oh, so he switched directions. Like, all right, whatever. Guy could just be like me. Just walks to, like, fucking... Normandy yeah. and then comes back. Everybody's losing their yeah. mind. And right. so then as I walk another block, I look behind me. Now he's a little closer. And I was like, oh, this motherfucker must be jogging when I'm not looking. So then I g- get up another block and I look back and now he's like pretty fucking close. So I was like, all right. So I had my mace and my knife out. 
So <laughs> mace in one hand, knife in the other hand. He's killing mountain lions out there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I had that. the knife. By the way, it's a small knife. <laughs> I had a very small knife, so I was like, "You got a machete this is for up close." Yeah, it's just like a throat slash and then a spray. He would have probably killed my tiger, but go ahead. So then <laughs> I go, "I'm gonna cross the street. If this dude follows me, then I know some shit's up." So sure enough, I start walking across the street. The guy's like, "Hey man, you got a smoke?" Which I later find out from the cops is, if you're walking at night and some dude asks you for a smoke, you're getting robbed 100. percent Oh, that is yeah, like that the go to. So yep. I didn't stop. I yep. kept walking. I go, "No." And so he starts jogging. Up, so I speed up, and then he's like, and this is, I picked the worst corner to cross the street because there's no street light there, so right. it's fucking really dark. And so then he goes, uh, hey, you think I can get a lighter down at the 7-Eleven? And I was like, yeah, I mean, it's open, yeah. And then he fucking charges at me. So I'm like, oh, fuck. So I was like, I got to get to the more lit side of the street. So I run between two cars back in the street, and he comes around the back of the car. And we're basically meet in the street, and I had my mace out. So, And I don't know what happened first. But I, either I sprayed the mace or he shot, but it seemed like it was simultaneous. So I spray, and then I just see, boom, like a flash of light and then the sound, and then like three shots. And then I run back between the cars and dive, and then I'm like, oh, fuck, if this guy comes around, I have to figure out where the fuck he is. So I yeah. kind of get up, and I see him through the, the passenger windows of a car running away up into the hills. And I'm like, oh, fuck. And then I didn't, ha- I don't have a phone. I didn't carry anything with me. So just, I'm like. Uh, he's a man, Eleanor. That's yeah, a real I man. Know. Well, if, I, I, I figure if I'm going to get robbed, get that's yeah. what they're going to take. Yeah. But then someone made a good point. that like, you should carry a dummy wallet with you. <laughs> just go, here you go. With $20 well, maybe, in it. Yeah, or, but, but, but then you're outside without a phone. Like, I, I know. get why you don't have a phone, but I also, at the same time, we're like. But I also We're think so dependent on them. Yeah, I, that's part of the reason why. Because I like to walk. I don't want to have anything. Right. So then I have to run a half a block to an apartment building because there's nobody. I'm yelling like, somebody call the cops. So I go to an apartment <laughs> building that has an open courtyard and I just start yelling. And people had heard the shot. So they come out. And by this time, I didn't know if I'd been shot because my adrenaline is pumping sure. so much. Yeah. So then I had to take off my fucking shirt and everyone had to look at me and they're like, no. They're like, you could lose five pounds, but uh, you're whoa, not. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. It was a John Little one of them. <laughs> yeah, look John at this. Hey. No gunshots, but look at this. A little yeah, muffin top, it. O'Neal. <laughs> That's fucked up. Um, That's and then, fucked up. And then they called the cops. The cops got there. And then it was like a four-hour manhunt for this guy. Somebody called and said some guy just jumped, hopped the fence into his back into their backyard. They brought whoa. the canine units out. So then I had to wait. And then the camera or the news crews came out. So I sat in the back. Wow, I got in the back news. of there and back of their car, and they took me uh, to like their state, you know, where they're stationed. It happened to be four blocks from my house. And the guy's like, "You should call your wife." And I was like, "Ah, don't." He's like, "Trust me, you should call your wife." So I called her and left <laughs> her a message. And then like an hour later, I see her walking down at like three thirty in the morning, walking down the block, and she's like, "What's going on?" <laughs> and I was like, she walking? "And the cops like, oh, uh, yes, well, somebody tried to kill him," and she's <gasps> like. Oh, really? What? And then it didn't dawn on her. Um, But the adrenaline was so high. I didn't sleep until, like, the next night. So I stayed up all that night. I was totally, like, wide awake. Yeah. And then I I I finally went to bed that night. Yeah. Like, another, like, 48 hours almost since I woke up. But it is a hell of a rush. Oh, you guys out there skydiving. Hello. (laughs) Just walk at night. (laughs) Walk at night in L.A. I've never even heard of someone creeping with a gun when you're skydiving. (laughs) Yeah. It What's could be somebody behind that? a telephone pole, though. Oh, you going to die? Did you did you jump out of a plane with a telephone pole, Boone? <laughs> <laughs> I saw you, Scott. He's just going through he, the air he like lo- this. He just moved it out of the way a little. <laughs> I, I see you. He's got his goggles on. <laughs> but you know what? That say, oh, so this same block, it's, it's a short block. Yeah. Uh, like two months earlier, my wife and I rented those electric bikes because I wanted to take yeah. her out. And it was late at night. And Big so spender. I yeah. come down the street and I make the corner onto Franklin and she, I, do, I go, where the fuck is she? It, she made the corner, but she made it way too long and she hit a curb, <gasps> flipped over the handlebars, fell between a telephone pole and a fire hydrant, landed part of her body on the fire hydrant, got all scraped up, but literally 100 feet from the where I just got shot at. This is, And then I got shot at like a, so it's like a cursed block. Yeah, yes, stay. Stay. you probably don't even drive. I or do walk drive in there. That I drive by it every night when I come home to the comedy store. Ooh. Well, that's where I'm moving to. <laughs> yeah, you, I, I, I see Boone there. All, oh, I saw you get shot. <laughs> I saw Boone, was that you? <laughs> He's just peeking behind. He's like, "Oh, I saw that guy shoot you." 
I I well, I know him. I know him. I yeah. just sucked his dick. <laughs> yeah. That was Danny Bilak. <laughs> that was Danny Bilak. He gets, he gets books a, from that guy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's all those free libraries around Boom now. Boom books. <laughs> yeah. I wish there was book burnings because I want to burn all those books in those free libraries <laughs> that they set up everywhere. We don't burn enough books. Want to bring it back? Yeah. That's what where America books would you burn? Stop being great. Yep. What books would you burn? Oh, I would burn all of the Pippi Longstocking. <laughs> get them out. Uh, I, get, get rid of them I all. I just thought of her the other day. Pippi Why? Longstocking? Because I think I used to watch it when I was little. You look like you have your ha- her yeah, hair. Well, that's, right now. That's what I thought is, was going on. I'm trying to hook you're, up with, you're trying to get what you're trying to do. I'm trying to hook up with Porn guys Pippi. that have pedophilia ways but don't want to go to jail. <laughs> Are those, those guys just be 18 year olds? <laughs> well, maybe they could get with somebody Young like looking this. Young looking 18 year olds? You're like, my demo here what is. What a leather face. 100% Jeez. pedder asses <laughs> that, what, that want. Pedder that want 100% to be sure they're not going to go to jail. He's a pedder ass dude. You don't want to go to jail. I got pigtails for you. Yeah. They're like, can we card you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're, you're pretty safe. Do you have a Vax card? Like, wait, what? Why? You're like, you I have an trust? AARP card. <laughs> I don't have an ID, but this should prove that I out. certainly do. You know what Ryan called me one time? He goes, those are your people in the audience. I went, what? He goes, yeah, they're baby boomers. I almost fucking shanked old. him. I, I, I you, believe you, I... You, you classified her with the olds? How dare you? I was a joke and also only... Baby boomers say baby boomers. The rest of us say boomers. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I, I was just thinking, oh, are you baby boomers? <laughs> Busted. Got all these. So what are, uh, you, you perform for a lot of baby boomers in Vegas, right? <laughs> boomers? That's his favorite thing to say. You baby boomers. Isn't he a Sooner? He's from Oklahoma. Right? Sooner, yep. yeah. He's a boomer Sooner. I love John Little's take on, this, on his own state. <laughs> Have you ever heard of it? He's like, <laughs> they fucking, they named it after a bunch of assholes that couldn't wait. They snuck out and stole land. Yes, I remember that. <laughs> he fucking goes crazy about it. <laughs> and he's still after Cat Williams, yeah. who owes him fifty. Oh hours. yeah, he, he, dude, he will legitimately ask people <laughs> that know Cat Williams. You think he knows Cat Williams still? <laughs> <laughs> Cat Williams, will remember, I gave him money to buy a bus ticket to get to L.A. Uh, and he never hooked him up. How did he never cross paths with him again? Cat Williams. Cat used to come here. Uh, Mitzi, he, I think he Mitzi said he didn't strong. pass them because he didn't he was pass we- them. Pass them. That's Did I say pass them? I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah, he was wearing the hats. And oh, sure. Uh, we already have a hat comic. She was like, Eddie does that. So he stopped because and, he called himself the Cat comedic, the Hat. Or this is the genius that everyone's talking about. <laughs> Too many hats. <laughs> we only, we already got a hat comic. Mitz, I'm real sorry that he's talking to you like that. I mean, that if you is... want to. You know, do something awful to him. Go right ahead. Jeez, oh, she's already your nail. done it to me. Yeah. <laughs> Who's in the basement waiting for my? I, I'm waiting for midnight <laughs> to go up. I'm the last guy on the roster. I've been here for what, oh. 15 years? Are you the last? They're like, wow, well, this guy does all right at 1 a.m. Let's and you fucking, fucking destroy at 1 a.m. Do I? The midnight I murderer, know. bro. Midnight murderer. That, somebody, one of the door guys that just said be. to me, and I was like, you just, you bought me another six months in comedy. Thank <laughs> Thanks you. a lot, dick face. You I was, should No, I, I was happy. I was like, I, what am I even doing? Did you miss the store at all? Like, no, it was one of the happiest of- times of my life. <laughs> you really were, wasn't it? Oh my God, you yes. Motherfucker. I would just, I would write, and then I would, my wife and I would watch movies. We'd drive up to the mountain. It was one of the greatest times of my life. Yeah. As others died, I prospered. Wait, you it thought flourished. it was one of the greatest yes. times of your life, too? I, I, I mean, I, it was terrifying because I have children, so. Right. See, we don't have any children. Me either, but I still hated the pandemic. But why? I wanted to work. Yeah. I was in a groove. I mean, I, I was doing stuff, yeah. but, like, I wasn't, like, yeah, we, I don't know. It was, we still had the podcast and stuff, and. It was, you know. I actually invented COVID, so. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you? But you missed performing, right, Rick? I did. I, it was, I felt it was very therapeutic for like yeah. three months. Because I've just never stopped performing. Yeah. I was never successful enough to where I could just be like, I'm going to take some time off. Sure. I think it was. So it was like, I was forced to do it. I'm like, this actually feels all right. And then after like three months, and I'm like. I don't, I don't like feeling normal. <laughs> oh, dude, I still I want to feel normal. Be, I want to no. feel like a crazy person again. That, I still felt c- 
crazy. But uh, and my wife and I were great for like seven months, and then it just fell apart. Like we're like, this is great. Everyone's talking about the relationships collapsing, <laughs> and I was like, oh no, this is wonderful. Then like seven months in, we were just fucking. We're like, hold on. We gotta fucking we gotta I'm take going stock outside. of this. Yes, <laughs> this is too much. Let's get a schedule going. Yep, yep. It's like oh, I'll sleep really? from uh, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. and you sleep from 7 p.m. Wow. Well, yeah, because no. you're both non-essential. We yeah. all found out that yeah, we, we were, were not. non-essential. Oh, I'm non-essential. <laughs> Even now, I'm still non-essential. Same, same. So, so yeah, but it was. Just... I get way more essential. I heard Every of day. well, you're see, you're a dad, so you're essential. It, you're yeah. essential, yeah. I have nothing. What a dream. Nothing. Same. I have no, if I leave, no, what is, <laughs> no one cares. Yeah, they're like, no, I don't have anyone that depends on me. Exactly. Yeah. I I mean that Maybe was at family kind gatherings, of exciting. But other than that, no at family gatherings, me. people depend on you. Oh, they they like me. They like me to come around. At, you know, family oh, sure. gatherings. But like, other than that, no one's like, gonna notice me. They like me. me to come around. They like me to come around. It. <laughs> Make sure Ryan's there. I don't know why they sound like that. I hope Ryan's there. That would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I think they sometimes they. I'm not, hey, look, I don't want to toot my own horn, but sometimes my family. You're the life of the party. We'll say, I hope Ryan and his uh, blank wife's name show up. Beautiful wife. She's beautiful. You got a blank She's, wife. I don't like to get. She doesn't like to be associated with what I do. <laughs> I, I hear that. Her. I hear that. I don't that. blame you. She's like lady. a legit person, so she. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she always says, "One day, what you do is gonna take my career down." That's beautiful sentiment. So that we can all relate to. Yeah, because she sometimes when we're taping Beach Cops or the Dan uh, Show Neil, she's in the bedroom, but the bedroom butts up against the living room. She goes, "I want you to know, I can hear everything you are oh saying." Oh my god! So she's like, "You guys are gonna be in deep shit." <laughs> One day. Well, the Patreon, they would have a hard time finding, right? These people will pay. We had somebody You're pay right. to just steal our videos to go try to get us in trouble with somebody else. Really? Yeah, people do that shit. Can it's you a say fucking, who or you can't say? Well, I don't know who it was. No, uh, I mean, but what, what did oh, they Oh, I don't steal? even want to bring it back Got up. it, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, just yeah. let it let One of those things that needs to lie. die. I saw just the video. It's, also, it's not anything crazy. It's just a lot of how we talk about women is how we would talk about dudes. Sure. But you can't talk, you know what I mean? It's like, we got this chick with big tits. She's not fat, is she? It's like, you know, but it goes on like that for three hours. (laughs) It's it's wild to me that people will say, oh, at the comedy store, they're so mean to women. I'm like, no, no, we're mean to everyone. Everyone, yeah. Everyone's included, because there's male comics that literally shudder to come here. Because they're so nervous because they got yeah. so roasted and they couldn't handle it. But that's why I think people think it's misogynistic. But I'm like, no, no. You should hear how we talk about dudes. Do, oh, yeah. We rip the fuck. We rip. We're just making fun of oh, everybody. Oh, we just destroyed wheels. Yeah, we get, we and his crazy. 150,000 podcast subscribers. Yeah, yeah. so, uh, you know, I'll send a couple of uh, listeners over to you guys if you need yeah, it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, you know, I think it's pretty cool to have 22 reviews and have 150,000 people listen. <laughs> I, I think it's, it's unique. It's like somebody who buys a, a, um, like a, a 100,000 Instagram followers, yeah, and then you look at a picture and they have three likes, and you're like, "Yes." Um, well, I just looked at somebody recently that we all so follow, many people that do and that. I was like, "Oh wait, you have twenty thousand, and then there's no views on any of these." <laughs> Come on, man, those days are over. You could have done that. It's wild five years, and they six blew years it ago, open. but it's... everyone knows now what it's a con job. You're not getting hired. Yeah, yeah, you... that's, that's not how we're doing it in my place. <laughs> it's, it's, it's real. <laughs> I get a, every every week. I get one hundred fifty thousand emails. You're uh, they out of all control. email you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're all what do they me. say? Are they positive? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all they're all video messages. <laughs> what? what, what, what? Yeah, they're mostly hot women. Beautiful women. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, masturbate. They, they just listen while they're in the bathtub and they masturbate. Listen do they to the put podcast. meatballs over their tits or something? Oh, yeah, yeah. They, like, they, rub yeah, it yeah. In? Okay. they always eat them. And it's like, yeah. Such a belief. Do they eat all the meatballs? Because that's not that's a problem. They have a big big tray of meatballs in the bathtub and they just eat them all. If, th- if this is what his podcast was, I would listen every day. Yeah, I would just hot <laughs> chicks talking about how great Wheels is. Dude, I just, oh, there's just something that irks me about him. And maybe it's because you told me that he robbed me when I went to fucking Alaska. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, what, what, uh, you got? Because uh, I got 300 bucks. You got the Alaska rate, not yeah. the uh, original he tried uh, to, yeah. Continental 48. Yeah, he tried to get yeah. me with the 200 bucks after the manager had already told me I was getting 500 bucks. He, yeah, because, yeah, but that's. 
it to Etienne Alaskan. Uh, would, would you do the exchange rate with no, the lower 48? Yeah. This is what, that's what he told that's him. What he told is that what he said? Yeah. Uh, maybe that's what I got. <laughs> it went into my head. Yeah, we did, well, you know, it, it takes a little longer for the check, so I was just going to give you cash because, you know, we're outside the continental 48. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you're not going to believe it. He went to go talk to the manager for me. Don't, don't say anything. I'll talk to him. And then he came back. Yeah, I got your cash right here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Like it would take, like you know, these Alaskan checks. I mean, these aren't even these banks even aren't even connected at all. <laughs> it was cash. Yeah, yeah. They, they send a guy with that exact cash. <laughs> then he has to drive a bicycle down to the lower oh forty-eight to deliver God. it to another bank. Jeez, that seems like yeah, no, yeah, yeah, it's a really fucked up place around here. <laughs> Ryan, if there wasn't comedy, what would you do? Are you talking? Do you want me to get into my bit about being a DUI attorney? <laughs> I, you have, I have a, a fucking bit. bit about I have a bit this? about if I wasn't a comic, I'd be a DUI attorney who just like embraces. <laughs> like, do you I, love I, I, to I drink wasn't and drive? No. Allen yeah, you. it felt like I you were. I was not lobbing yeah. you. Felt up. like you were. You're like, uh, uh, right? What would you do if you so, were doing comedy? Well, just because right. they came up with Bobby Lee, and so we've been asking people. Yeah. Like, if it, he said if he oh, didn't there's a have format biz. to this show. No, there's not. <laughs> but we we've been on script this whole time. The whole time. I did. I noticed right behind you. We're reading the line. Bait Ryan into wheels. Rage. There's <laughs> <laughs> a teleprompter right behind Get him, you. You can't uh, see Lull it. him into a false sense of security, then drop the bomb. <laughs> what would you do if you weren't a comedian? Oh, what would you do? So DUI, so you would work I'd for- I'd be a DUI. Do you, you would, want the real answer? you want the comedy <laughs> bit? You would work for a couple comics here if you do the DUI. Oh, I know. I Look, what would I do? Fuck. So when I was a kid, I wanted to be like a- I wanted to be an airline pilot at one point, and then- I wanted to be a classic car uh, uh, sales or salesman. I wanted to okay. but then I sold cars, and then I never wanted to sell anything again. <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah, it sounds I mean, soul sounds, crushing. It's got to be awful. It, you know what it is? It's like especially the mail. cars because you're you have to bullshit. 24 it's, hours. It's more than that. You just have to talk to people, and people fucking drain your energy. People yeah. will talk to you. I had people I sold cars to, and then they would keep coming around, like hanging around the dealership. And then on t- then after you sold one car, it you got to sell another car. You got to just ev- – yeah, yeah, yeah. you have to keep – it never ends. Everyone that sells cars, like, if they do it for – if they're in it for life, they've at least had three or four DUIs. They usually have some sort of drug problem. Are you serious? Multiple divorces. Wow. It's a rough – it is a rough lifestyle. It's not that dissimilar here. A bunch of degenerates. Because I, I, I was like 19 when I started selling cars. And there was guys in their 30s. And they loved that I was 19. And I was banging the receptionist. And right. they were like, take me out to lunch. Ooh. Get me all drunk and high. And then they'd be like, dude, you can't talk to customers. You smell like fucking alcohol. You're hitting them with your peach. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. amazing. And they Peaches. were snap kick. And so, snap I kick know. peaches. It's, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do it that. But I'm trying to think what I would. I can't, man. I don't know. Yeah, it it's would be tough. like no we answer. were saying we have yeah. nothing else. Like I, well, at this point too, like I, I could never get any other sort of real job that would. Re- the thing about selling cars is they'll take ex cons and everyone. They don't give a fuck. It's like Alaska. Yeah, <sighs> outside the Continental Forty Eight. Yeah. You're saying <laughs> they're just a, they attract a uh, as a profession demographic. Yeah, <laughs> Wheels actually got banned from selling cars because he was so outrageous. Did you think the, uh, all of North America selling cars? He was written into NAFTA. Do you he think he invented <laughs> selling cars? Yeah, yeah, it was the first guy. Like, like, my great grandfather sold a Model T to Henry Ford. <laughs> and he stole it. He stole the blueprints. <laughs> yeah, we, we told him Model T. Yeah, it was a model. It was it through my uncle Tommy. <laughs> Is that true? Model, yeah, we called him Model T. Because he, he was a handsome guy. He looked like a model. So we called him Model Tommy. Well, that's what, that makes sense. Model he was T. Modeling for yeah, all yeah, the yeah. magazines T back then. T for Tommy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he would. Wow. So quick. quick. He, dude, that so way. <laughs> those wheel, those lies wits. are always brewing. I don't know why we didn't call him Wits. Yeah. We should have just called we him We should have called him the Cauldron. <laughs> Because he's always got a lot of brewing. Always brewing. That's a fucking. That's really what he should have oh, been named. Boy. Like, you should just do a podcast. <laughs> the wheels podcast. As, <laughs> as wheels. Dude, can you imagine how great that was? Oh, you know what we should do? I'll do no, it. I'll just set you up constantly. Oh, wheels. What about the time that they actually had, didn't they have you like, land a plane, you said, or oh, something? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know the guy in the Hudson? Yeah. Oh. I, I didn't want credit for it because I, yeah, I was already a celebrity Wait, doing you? comedy. Wow. I thought it would take stuff away, so I gave it to Sully. You know, <laughs> we went to high school together. You and Sully went to Sully saw me. We were crashing in the Hudson. I go, I, I got it. Don't worry about it. Sully, yeah, cover your ass. I was in the cockpit. I was, yeah, I was in the cockpit already. 
I'm telling you, this would be the greatest podcast. You're gonna fuck around and give him one hundred and fifty thousand. I, I, I throw it in. I go, hey, so don't worry about it. Man. You know you're gonna do that, right? So what? You're gonna fuck around and give him one hundred and fifty thousand downloads. He's gonna have three hundred thousand because of this. I want to do a Renazizi Wheels podcast. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's talk about milking wheels. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. I invented milking. Yeah, that was you. Wait, you invented jerking what? guys' dicks <laughs> off? Yeah, well, we, I mean, you know, I invented uh... women milking men. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what a fucking that guy that is, is so amazing. Yeah, it's oh my god. I don't. Yeah, I don't, what am I even? I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> it's my life or anything. This is your life, uh, man. Comedy, you know and now you're going on the road. Yeah. What, but, who are you going? When are you going? Uh, March March sixth. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only Salt date Lake you City. have. I was in Tacoma. Hey, if you have a time machine, you want to see me <laughs> back when I went on the road earlier in September? I was in Tacoma and Spokane. <laughs> so hey, if you guys, whoever is out there looking for a time machine, and you're like, we'll, we'll love to caught you in Washington. Heard about the legendary yeah. Washington shows? I did. I did. I read it in the trades. I thought it was. They great. were good. It was you... me, the Edge, and Ari. Oh, that's when you guys were doing shrooms, yeah? Yeah, we went out. I had to go out there and clear my mind. I like, become to, get, I like to get become a mind one. clearing. Did yeah. you come back with COVID? I came back with something else. I thought it was COVID. <laughs> Dude, I, I hadn't been sick in so long, and I came back, and I was like, oh, fuck. Because you know Washington. Yeah. They don't give a fuck about anything. Yeah. No. Very close People, to not being yeah. in the Continental 48. <laughs> they were coughing in our faces and stuff. People were like, you pussies wearing your masks. I was like, I'm meeting 500 For people. pulling you down and spitting was, in your mouth. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, but they were, uh, it was weird being back. It felt good, but. What do you mean, being back? Or just going back out on the road. You know, last time I went on oh, the road, yeah, right before it happened. period, yeah. But Ari, I did like a, I think I did the road with Ari, I think in that month of November 2019, I was on the road for like three and a half weeks straight. Yeah. And I was like, this is awesome, and then it all stopped. You're like, oh, isn't this fun? And I then felt I like, had momentum. Rrr. Now I have nothing. That's what I'm saying. Uh, that's why but you're I on the pissed. road all the time. This guy's got record contracts. I got nothing. <laughs> well, if you wouldn't shit on it, we would give you a record contract here. At least a 45, you know? <laughs> 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 yeah. That no, 33 for you, just a 45. Do the old payola the where they pay the radio station to <laughs> yeah, play yeah, it? Yeah, yep. yeah. Dude, payola. Fra Frazier's like, got I'm glad records are coming back. Man. Man. Ricky, you did the right thing side of that record cut. Well, I think that's Rick, probably the smartest you thing you ever did. <laughs> so do they I can own imagine the, already. Do they own the rights to it? Or can you at some point just go, I'm just going to put it on iTunes and promote it myself? Uh, I I mean. No, they'll probably put it out. Yeah, from what I'm told, they're, they're just going to put it online. And, try and it and would just it all to, the money probably goes through sound exchange, the same yeah, thing. Yeah, okay. I believe that's correct. Yeah. And so. then so sell it, it, can you sell it yourself to Sirius? No, they would, they would probably sell, they would do that too. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Because I heard you can actually make a couple of bucks off Sirius. A hundred percent. Like yeah. ten or fifteen grand if they play it. If they play it a lot, and yeah. it, if it's they will clean, play you. They will. Play, if it, oh, it's clean. Yeah, if it's clean, they really. Play. But you got to get on Raw Dog Radio, bro. Yeah, that's it, dude. I'm raw gonna, Dog I'm, is me. For me, that's I'm Raw 30. Dog only. You're raw Dog in. That's it's funny. I was driving cross country once with my brother in law, and we were like listening to Mark Ellis on. That's I was like, I was, funny. it's so hilarious. It's amazing. Like, I'm listening on Sirius to a guy that I play. It was uh, you know. It's kind of cool, but yeah. yeah. Did you listen to the bit or did you turn it off? Tell I listened truth. to the bit. I was doing the bit for him, and I was like, <laughs> oh, here's like, the point. Then, <laughs> yeah. blah, blah, blah. This is where it's going. Yeah, I was like, here's where it gets good. I know this Narnia bit. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you're telling me that comedians. They don't say the, the they don't things make off the top of their heads every night? Sorry, this is like pro wrestling. I wow. shouldn't reveal this secret. Probably going to get killed for this, but yeah, we don't make it up. Well, some of us make it up on the spot. The three of us in the room make it up on the spot a lot. Once in a while, yeah. But if, uh, we also I like have to do crowd stuff. work. I could, I could, this guy, he could have sold a car. You could tell. The way he yeah. just convinced me. That we. <laughs> the three of us. Yeah, yeah. I like that I got included. It's different every day. The three night. of us are definitely <laughs> Toyota Sienna minivan Thank owners. You. We look like it. We feel like it. Look at that. We are look it. at that leather. Unbelievable. Why don't Is that Eddie Bauer? Special yeah, edition? This is I, used to, I used to talk like this. I'm like, look at this. Yeah. Do you do car commercial auditions? Oh, do you should do that. Should like, I? Yeah. I have one where it's like Dodge. What was it? You know, it's on my voiceover commercial reel. Dodge. The Brotherhood of Muscle. 
<laughs> or something like that. <laughs> Dude, I think that's real. Sell you, that thing. That's man. what I'm saying. You could really sell the shit out of that. That is, yeah, I know it's done. And white straight guys are hot right now. Oh, is that true? Yeah, well, I'm I'm, back. I'm bi I'm binary or wait non binary. <laughs> I think you're just. I think you're binary. I like to fucking suck. <laughs> bi binary, I believe. I was like, you guys are looking for you guys are looking for straights. I suck and fuck. Where does that put me? And they're like, sign him up. I've Otherwise, been we're bigots. For months, no one listens. What does, that you suck and fuck? Suck and fuck. I saw. Oh, I, I Boone told me about That's it. That's why like, I'm wearing oh, my hair like I that. I saw that sign you were holding on the side of I'm the like, freeway. I'm like, suck and fuck with this hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Invented Wait a minute. You're trying to yeah, dry yeah, yeah. me Both up. Yeah, people had the. The first woman they ever suck a dick was my dick. Oh, whoa, yeah, 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 yeah. what? Yeah, yeah, no. Palacio. I mean, you should try wow. this. Wow. She's like, yeah, it seems really weird. And I was like, you love it. Don't trust is an Italian word, yeah? Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah, 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 I was only speaking Italian back then. <laughs> with meatballs in your Yeah, mouth. yeah, with meatballs. I gave her all the meatballs. She ate all the meatballs. <laughs> That's I gave I her the all the meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is that? Is that dice is wheels? I can't believe that wheels and dice are even friends. I just, I mean, I don't, you hung out with, I mean, I don't, it, even I, as crazy I, as Dice is, it just. I hung out with Wheels a lot, and I hung out with Dice a lot. Yeah. yeah. So what is, I mean, what's the attraction to either party being uh, friends with the other? They just know each other's the, they're both, they idiocies. Know. They I both like, they both love telling ridiculous stories, and Dice's are more on the actually happen side of things. <laughs> Yeah, he, and he wheels can... will he'll one up them. Dice will be like, I sold out Madison Square Garden. They're standing up, doing. He's yeah, like, I, I was on the cover of Home and Garden. <laughs> <laughs> we both did gardens. Fuck. <laughs> Why were you on the cover no, of yeah, Home? No, I, they were featuring me. I used to be an incredible gardener. <laughs> one of the top gardeners in the country. Did you grow your meatballs? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Used to oh, grow on wow. trees. The yeah. Meatballs grow on trees. I invented that. Did you ever read that kids' book? Meatballs grow on trees. I always, okay. uh, I always, uh, it's a huge, it's a huge book in Norway. I don't. The listen, lies, the lies were the best. He, he, I, that's part of what I miss it's about a him. Huge book in Norway. Like, Dude, I loved when you wheels. would tell you, you can't... all the wheels like fucking lies he would tell you. I like, I, I mean, would just was... sit back and go. You could do a pot. You could just do uh, a wheels lies podcast. Yeah. And it would you would do two hundred episodes. Could you believe that he actually got away with these lies? Yeah. Like now you can't. Now that that kind of person is extinct because you can look things up. Yeah. Well, you, I, you could still look things up back then. <laughs> um, it would take a little longer, so you could get away with it a little. Finding longer. out who the baby and the Godfather was was a that pretty was a simple little easier, one. To, to but do. like like he said to Freddie Soto. Uh, that he played uh, D one Division one football for uh, yeah, Florida, right. Florida State, Florida State, and Freddie was a. This is, uh, my, this is one of my favorites. He, so, uh, <laughs> we said, "Hey, Wheels." Uh, Freddie was a, a college football guy, so he was like, "Do you play oh, for was that uh, with, uh, Bobby Bowden?" No, he said, "What was the coach's name?" Just, oh. just like that, like, "Oh, testing really? him." Yeah. What yeah. was the coach's name? I don't, I don't know. We just called him Coach. <laughs> Can you imagine playing for a D one team and you I never learned the coach's cry. name? I thought Freddie was going to cry. He, he just couldn't you, believe why, why what he heard. To, I, I was. I had all the plays in my head, so why would I uh, crowd yeah, it with people's names? <laughs> that's why. That's why. Everyone, that's why they call him a coach, so that you don't have to remember anything. You just remember Coach. This Out is terrible. Mind. This is a wheel is roasting it terrible? podcast. I, he's, not the, he's not the best guy in the world. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying we're giving him too much time. Oh, I know, but I could do it for hours. <laughs> yeah, true. I think we should just uh, I, you, you first, and I just do a yeah. wheels podcast. <laughs> the first it. podcast I'd ever do and listen to would just yeah. be baiting O'Neill into wheel it's stories so for good. an hour. You just, it's, but both of you got synced into Alaska too. Yeah, I'm yeah. glad you didn't go to Japan with him. My ex he went, went to Japan. My ex went to Japan with him. Yeah, they called me up here. Here's what happened. I was waiting <laughs> tables here, and they were supposed to leave. So uh, at this point, my ex was living in Mitzi's uh, up in Crest Hill. Okay. So I went up. And I, uh, I was like, you know, you're ready, you excited. He goes, I'm a little nervous. I go, why? He goes, well, Wheels is having an issue with his pass passport, so I have to go alone, and he's gonna meet me there. What? And I was like, wait a minute. <clears throat> what is I that? don't think you should go to Japan without without, <laughs> without somebody. Oh my god! What was his issue with his passport? I don't know. I guess you have to have one. <laughs> <laughs> 
I would always just travel internationally. No one ever asked me for anything. They just always know who I was. If I show up in the bathrobe, they go, yeah, wheels, go ahead, go through. So my poor friend Jason had to go by himself to no. Japan, and he had a headline with <laughs> only probably at that point 10 minutes of material. Oh, <laughs> shit. That is a – wait, did wheels ever show up? No. Two days later, a day and a half later. <laughs> oh, my God. He was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I was like, your, your parents are going to get you out of this business. They're never going to let you do this. If you, This is so bad. What happened to that guy? He quit comedy. He Shortly to, after that? He yeah, makes yeah, a seriously? lot of money. Yeah. He, oh, he makes a lot of money yeah. doing something else? Yes. No. He makes a really nice living and has a nice family in a normal place. Not, <laughs> not the nicest family, though. Because <laughs> yeah, I got that. But he still has the poster from when he went to Japan without <laughs> wheels. Is that where he met his, his wife is from? Where is she? Philippines? Uh, no, he met her. That's a long story. Well, yeah, no, he, he, he said mean, he's like, I, her family's royalty over there. Philippine, yeah, she's Philippine. She's a sweetheart, so I'm not going to No, but her. I'm saying when, he goes, very when nice. he goes over there, they, they treat me like a king. I'm not a king. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah. he said that. He's like, yeah, you can tell people, he's like, hey, give me your daughter. <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait, what? <laughs> that can't be real. <laughs> yeah, I'll take all your daughters. All right, you guys went too far. We got to no. wrap this up because O'Neill. We're at an hour and a half. On. Jesus. Yeah, you, that you're next. You to do? I think you're next. Um, upstairs. So, t- what do I you want to get, promote? I'm up. I'm next. I what do you want to promote, so. dude? We'll, we'll find out. Uh, follow me at Ryan O'Neill. That's O N E I L L at Ryan O'Neill Comedy on Instagram. You can see some of my exciting clips. Do you have any? That Eleanor doesn't like. Do you have any sketches on there? Uh, uh, I, no. I like your clips. I'm not saying they're funny. I'm just saying they're illegal. Anyway. Uh, oh, according <laughs> to the old. <laughs> the rule look, book. I gotta get my. I gotta get my. I'm. T- I'm taping again. Look. look. Unbelievable. This guy's got his own record label I going mean, over honestly, here. I mean, honestly, is that- Ryan O'Neill Records is having a uh, <laughs> record release, release launch. Party. O'Neill 45s. Can I with, sign uh, with you guys? Uh, wait, are you signing with anybody else? Because I got to know that first. <laughs> have you signed any other record deals in the past <laughs> three months? You know what? I have to be honest with you. I have. Damn it. All right. Whoa. Well, I'll talk to you in a couple I'll months. I'll try to get you out of it. I like this whole thing. Um, Rick, well, thanks for any? having me. I hope this Don't was, forget uh, to watch Beach Cops. Yep. Danish yeah, listen and to O'Neil it. Is it's still video. One of the funniest. It's on Patreon, Danish and O'Neill podcast. Look, I'm all over the place, ladies and gentlemen. Look at him. He's building. And I, and I could watch me now because I could die at any time. Yeah. <laughs> He's got content and his life is always on the line. <laughs> Two very important things to success in the sitcom business. This is very Who exciting. Who knows? Hopefully next time I'm in here, I have more success to share. But yes. lately it's been the same. The past uh, eight times I've been on here, oh, it's been sh- the same success. I hear a piano. Are you Can't serious? You? No, I'm no. kidding. What's going on? You're <laughs> freaking me out. <laughs> what time's your spot? N- midnight? There's no yeah. way they're on time. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, okay. So we can, yeah, we have more time. No, no, no. Are you guys no, trying to get rid of up. me? Do we're you have gonna, to go home to the no, family? No, we're over. And he put the time He gave up, us the. Oh, so. so you guys have to wrap it up? It's, we're the, gonna they're wrap playing it up. the music. They're got? already playing the music. Oh. Well, you got Twitch superstars that have to use the studio? Who the fuck? No, Rick wants to go home. They got the they got the pride of TikTok coming in. Uh, They're going to film. Really? I believe some. I'm not even sure what it means. Nasser's coming in? Yeah, Nasser's <laughs> coming in. The one person who I will never allow on this did, podcast. Do you know I had to bring him up? Like, I oh, did see that. How'd that go? Oh, it was Very amazing. funny. Was what did amazing. you do? Oh, because I was like, there was no way. And by the way, I wasn't the only guy. I, I uh, Moses was in the lobby, and he's like, what the fuck is up with Nasser being back? Yeah. And he and Moses shit on him for like five minutes for it. So then um, I was like, there's no way. I can't say anything about it. And I, what am I going to do? So I said, hey, this next guy coming to the stage, he's a fucking genius. And I went on for like three minutes, and I was like, give it up for Don Barris. <laughs> nice. And then Barris goes, it's actually not me. It's uh, yeah. it's Josh Nasser. I go, okay, ladies and gentlemen, until the genius of Don Barris shows up, here's Josh Nasser. Nice. <laughs> so then, Did he get mad? He, oh, he's like, you know how he storms. I don't know. He hasn't talked to me in like 10 years. General so man, man. Yes, yeah. you remember that? General you remember he threatened man, me man. because Bilak – Put that uh, voice, uh, well, at the time it was the answering machine. He put that message that he left me on YouTube, but with, like, dudes making out in this montage. Oh. And he's like, I'm going to sue you. I go, I didn't do it, dude. I didn't do it. <laughs> I don't know who did it because I didn't do it. And was so this he in was, the Comedy Store Gazette or oh, that you did? I don't even have to ask David Taylor. He's the one who wrote that. I believe wow. that's a David Taylor thing. thing. And Dan Bilek, I, I can't think. prove that, but I believe yeah. that's what I heard on the streets. We're going with Dave. We're going Dave with my Taylor husband, and Dan Bilak. Yeah, yeah, you're fucking. They were boy toy. 
Dave, Davey T. That's my pseudo husband. You med- remember that? So good. Those All were right. the days. Rick <laughs> checked out a long time ago. He wants oh, to Rick's go out. home. Out. <laughs> uh, so okay. check um, Rick's podcast out. Rick yes. Ingram talks to strangers. That's I right. got. I I love watching the clips. The clips are great, yeah. right? And I think it's a fun idea. And he's killing it with that. They've yeah. been doing live ones and selling it out. I love so it, if man. there's a live one, congratulations. Come, see him. Dude, the come to the comedy great. store and see him. You know, I'm gonna make a dollar. At some point. At 15 you, cents. Hey, if I keep it up. Did you sign a lifetime oh, podcasting shit. contract as well? I did. Uh, I'm I'll, with them for life. I'll be at the Punchline in Philly uh, the night before Thanksgiving with Bragger. my buddy Ray, And then Friday and Saturday with Annie Letterman. And oh. woohoo. Girls night. Out. Girls are out. And then uh, Brokerage Comedy Club, two shows, New Year's Eve. Get on it, Long Ooh, Island. Let's the, do it. That's where the money is, uh, those New Year's all Eve All big shows. money. The code is Mario. Mario. Oh, geez. Are you going to have your pigtails? It's been a while tails? since I had a Mario. If, well, you're going to get a lot more with those pigtails. Really? He's like, oh, I want Are to these get, working? Anyway, I want, I want I a 14-year-old, but I want to really make sure she's not. But I want to make sure she's elderly. Guys, Comedy Store Podcast is back. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please leave us your negative and positive comments, mostly negative. You can follow me at Rick Ingram. <laughs> I only accept positivity in my life. <laughs> The new Rick is here and EJ Kerrigan still with the negativity, but like and subscribe.